This podcast is rated MA. It may contain coarse language, sexual situations, and fantasy violence. It is not recommended for persons under 17. Welcome to the fifth edition DB podcast, The Rise of Tiamat and the Dragon Queen's Horde, Episode 4 On the Road, Part 5. I am Andrew Felling, the Dungeon Master. I am Kirk, and I'm playing Keridan, the Wood Elf Monk. This is Mary. I will be playing Zelania, the Wood Elf Sorcerer. This is Seth. I'll be playing the Paladin Dragonborn Cespedes. My name is Eric. I'm playing Falar, the Wood Elf Ranger. Picking up where we last left off, you'd all made your camps, uh, or made your way back to camp, and resettled in after the pole had gone berserk. Ah, uh, yes. And it proceeded to be uh, kited around by uh, Keridan. Um, there was a uh, small council over whether or not the pole and his crew could be trusted to come along. And while um, it, uh, for the most part, was agreed based off of uh, Keridan's vouching for him. Uh, there was also the subtext of abandoning someone out here in the middle of nowhere would be leaving them to die. Right. And for the most part, the world is not full of assholes. So they move on. <laughs> <clears throat> An early morning, wake up, breaking camp, getting your packing in. Everything seems to be moving to the usual cadence uh the pole and his crew do seem more tightly knit than before um Keridan, you do notice that the pole is moving a little bit more uh sluggishly than right, you right, had right, seen right. him before yeah. uh you can't tell if this is either from uh the extra exhaustion from last night or right. uh something else right because I'm still suffering from that as well. Right. Um, so, uh, but one thing that is uh, pretty obvious to everyone is that uh, off in the distance, you do kind of see this very gray horizon, which can only mean a large storm is coming. Mm-hmm. Uh, and... You do not want to be caught out in the middle of the fields in the thunderstorm because literally it's you as the lightning rod right. or, you know, the pole, whichever. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Just I'm stand by leave, him. I'm going to leave it alone for right now. It's way too easy. <laughs> uh, you do know that you have about a half day's uh, journey before you would meet up to the next longhouse. Um Marking about the two thirds of your journey complete uh, across uh, the, the the dead fields. So with the storm coming, there's a little bit quicker of a pack up. You kind of hit the road a little bit quicker, and there is definitely a drive to move the horses quicker. Uh, whoever wants to take that drive, roll me a uh, handle animal check. See if you can't spur them. I have a plus four. Uh, I have a plus two. I have to uh, check. Hang on. Run, finding skills tabs. <laughs> yep, I have a plus two. I don't think I'm good at it. Yeah, just plus two. Okay, I'll so, do it. Wait, I'll try it. Some aren't I? Aren't I somehow? Do I have vehicles or something? <laughs> Well, if you have, um, like, there is a proficiency land vehicles, no joke. Uh, huh. I'll pull yeah. up in your... Uh, I have it. I just don't know what it, how to use it. Okay, so what that would mean is on something like a land vehicle, uh, you could then use... Uh, you, you get your proficiency modifier 
when navigating one in addition to basically you get to make a free handle animals check for for this for the land vehicle stuff sweet nice. i also have that i didn't realize are you proficient in handle animals at all seth yeah plus two no i mean are you proficient since you're a paladin oh, no no i'm not huh. yeah so what you would do here in this case for both falar and uh Cespedes, is you would roll uh, you'd re- for for these specifically. Um, oh, let's see, it's a handle animal. It's a you. you I, I would say because you are dry. Uh, to, for this, I would say probably a dex plus your proficiency modifier in terms of land vehicles because what this would do would be you're you're guiding it where it the uh, handle animal would be like convincing the horse right okay so uh if that changes who wants to attempt to drive otherwise we'll just continue on with uh the answer is not me okay. so <laughs> i do want you to roll a d20 anyways because i'm okay. going to have that as be as one of the other ba- basically i need to know i need the roll for your for you guys and then whoever is not rolling for you guys you're rolling for the okay. other okay. aspects of the like i said well, i have a plus four and handle an, an animal handling but i don't have any other cart driving or anything like that okay. so. i think if i'm and i'm not proficient understand it, so. if i'm understanding it correctly i have a plus six then Ooh. yeah uh, I, I do too yeah. my dex is plus four and if i got pro- my proficiency bonus it'd be a plus six yeah so well, why don't you, you actually it, actually plus seven because our proficiency bonuses are plus three at this yeah. level. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, go ahead. Drive, okay. drive the cart. Do it. <clears throat> Somebody else did very poorly driving their cart. Okay. What'd you get? They uh, six. Okay, six. Uh, it, it's just I just need the die roll. Six. Six. Oh, the six. Oh, the die roll was a four. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Four, six. Yeah. Oh, uh, Suspicious. If you can roll, we're gonna have you I be taking care of somebody, somebody else. Did very poorly. I did bad. <laughs> also, also a six. <laughs> This is amazing. I, I, may wow. sa- I may save y'all. I got a twenty, not natural. Well, our yes. our card is fine. It's the rest of the caravan that's is apparently bitch. fucked. Up. Yeah, <laughs> that red wizard. Eat our dust, fuckers. <laughs> we know what we're doing. Um. Okay. We're so tailgating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Riding my rubber the side, never lips. Looking over. Come on. So, Sorry. So, um, the group as a whole does seem to move pretty slowly um the red wizard and his cart actually do like steadily pull out like even furthering that gap um really trying to drive it get their home Every, like it's like the his driver is very much taking the point of i've got a red wizard i've got a backup cart i know where i'm going yeah bitches <laughs> <clears throat> i've got a red wizard i just <laughs> Seems like such playground bragging rights. I, I don't know why. Well, he's got Saruman. I mean, I would, <laughs> I'd get him out of the rain too. Mm. Um, uh, and then from there, you guys are kind of in this position. You could either keep up with the Red Wizard, or you could slow down and hold on with the rest of the pack, or you could go at a space in between. Do we I want to stay at the back? T- oh. oh, we tend to have more friends in the caravan yeah. than, than with the Red Wizard. We do. Could we help anybody from the back if they fall behind or anything like that? Like if they're having like, bad trouble, so we don't lose one, somebody. Well, what distance are we talking about here? You've got um, about half a day, so probably about thirty miles. I mean, the distance between, like, if we let the Red Wizard go ahead, are they oh, like he, really? He will, you will lose sight of him. See, that's my concern. Because isn't our like actual goal here to find out what they're up to? Well, was it the wizards? Sh- not necessarily. We're supposed to be figuring out what's going on with, with the, the cultists. The cultists, but we don't know which which people in this right. caravan are part of that group. Yeah. It, I mean, I think likely from what we've seen, it's the red wizards, but. We haven't really looked at that a lot. Right. Too much time dancing with the pole. Too much yeah. time dancing with the pole. Yeah. But the pole, I mean, just as easily could be a cultist, I yeah. guess. I, I, I don't know. Yeah. If we stay between, will we be able to keep sight of both? 
it could be possible. Or did, you say th- or did you say thirty miles? It's it's about it's well it's about thirty miles to your destination from where you're at, and I mean like horse moving at a good clip. I mean it's still going to take them like two, three hours to get there. Um, Quick question: At the, the destination point, is it another way stop? It's another way stop. Okay, okay, so it's not the city. No, no, no. So if we let them go, we will right. likely catch up to them before. Right, right, right. Oh. Now you're 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 racing the wind. Right. Okay. In that case, we might as well stay and help people. Yeah. It's we're all headed to the same place right now, and they it's not like they're gonna more trust points if we could help somebody out. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. Plus, I care about these people more than I care about that asshole. Yeah, true. Same here. Okay, okay, I'm good with that. All right. So, um, and it, it just kind of comes down to cart quality. Your guys' right. cart is a much, while this doesn't look as luxurious as the um, Red Wizards, it is very firmly stocked and put together where a lot of these other carts are, right. you know, cobbled junk almost. So mm-hmm. you're just, a, and, that, and that's why you're able to coax the extra speed if needed where, here, not so much. I mean, one guy literally has him and a donkey. Right. Um, like how you put Scottish just on the donkey. I was okay. The thing is, that is just the way I speak, and it's not Scottish. It's coming out. Shrek. Uh, Shrek. I, that's that's what I yeah. That's what I heard. No, uh, my uh, all four of my grandparents immigrated here from Ireland, and I will out of nowhere just brogue. <laughs> Because it's still, I don't fight it, but every now and then it's like, oh, how you doing? <laughs> the Irish will sing while we kick your ass. <laughs> oh, then I, you said my wife was fat. I knocked you down and I shot in your hat. <laughs> Anyways, so <clears throat> um, you you guys do end up kind of moving at more of like the regular pace, which is roughly that. Um, you know, five to six mile an hour uh, pace, and you, uh, which is still kind of you know that, that that's a that's a run for you guys. It's yeah. not too much of a run for a horse, um, and uh, it, it, you know people are you know everyone's kind of like as things are moving quickly, moving around on top of the carts to just realizing they're not going to beat the storm and just tying as much down as they can. Um, and sure enough, about uh, you know, into four hours of travel, the storm it's here. You know that you've you've moved. It's you know, at like first it came in with a nice little ripple, and then now it's coming down and close to a sheet. Uh, I'm going to need uh, survival checks, and we're going to do very much the same thing. Where um, Falar, he's going to roll for the group, and then because okay. I've got mental to where everybody else is, okay. you're going to be rolling for uh, other carts, and it's going to be how well do you continue your navigation? Okay. Th- this is several things. This is continuing the navigation. This is uh, keeping the horses healthy. This is keeping your goods right. uh, dried, um, as well as not falling apart. So my cart's not doing. Bad, but not good either. Nine. Nine? <laughs> Twelve. Four. Fifteen. Okay. Um, this was survival. Yeah. And a, a, your guys' cart is, again, um, between, you know, his, his, his mastery of land vehicles and of the land, uh, Falar is really able to navigate through this. Um, you are the guys who realize in a snowstorm you don't put on your high beams, <laughs> <laughs> but it is very much that whole you know um, warp speed effect with the uh, rain coming down, and you are able to keep a good eye on the cart in front of you and behind you because you guys have kind of moved more towards a, a middle-ish pack, <clears throat> and uh, as a result, um, I will let you pick two carts, and those two carts will not have an issue. Well, our cart, for sure. Right, right. Uh, In addition to your cart. (laughs) I got this. (laughs) I got our cart. Yeah, your cart's fine. So the carriage uh, was the wizard. Yeah, he's The second one was the cart tarp. 
uh, also with the wizards, correct? Yeah, th- those two are fine. Okay, cart three was halfling with guards, the pole, human merchant. Four was dice players. That's all I have. Five, I have nothing for. Six, I have our our Vusta, Vustier. And seven was an open cart with a female gnome, a donkey, and no fucks given. Those are my notes. <laughs> <laughs> Which are very well, accurate. <laughs> well, 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 who's well, in the, the fifth gnome, one? The gnome can go down because she's got no fucks given. <laughs> who's in the fifth one? Uh, After a couple days with them. Let me pull that up. Or is there anything else I'm missing with these dice players? <laughs> um, those were the ones out? that I sat down. Yeah, because right. that was the gnome and then... Yeah, the, well, some of the Angry di- gnome. The angry gnome, yeah. Angry unlucky gnome. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, that's who it was. It was the angry unlucky gnome. Uh, let's see. So we had the third cart had the female dwarf oh. that you'd spoken to. The fifth cart. Oh, that's the lawyer's cart. Or the the guy, that the little nerdy guy with a bunch of scroll tubes. Um, okay. And uh, he seems to be transferring a lot of. Uh, he was a gnome, too, he said. No, he's human. human. And he seems to be transporting a lot of. Uh, refined goods where most people seem to be transporting uh raw goods materials or um okay. you know something like that where this guy is like he's you know he had a lot of uh inks and quills and like his cart isn't huge but my god is it packed with all these little small like a uh, bookkeeping stuff and books cool so he really doesn't want to be in the way <laughs> <laughs> have we is this the same day as the last fight we got into, or was there a sleep? There was a sleep. sleep. Okay. Sleep. I could. Okay. I didn't record it, so making sure I have my sorcery points back. Yeah, you got them back. Um, yeah, with my conditions, I just want to make sure. Uh, I will actually be right back because the Hardee's is a. Uh, it's attacking my stomach. My stomach's been empty all day. It's finally got something inside of it. Doesn't know what to do, so it's just like shoot it out. <laughs> <laughs> And of course, I need to make sure that the Tides of Chaos is still a thing. <laughs> the sorcery points were really secondary to the. Coming back in. Have so you wait. guys decided who you Carts. want? Carts. Carts. Uh, who do we want? I mean, we're, we're the saving second? the polls card, I'm assuming. Like, we so put the, a lot the, of right, That's into the third that. card, right? Uh, the pole, halflings with guards, the pole, human merchant, dwarf woman, right? No. Uh, the halfling with the guards, uh-huh. and among those guards is the dwarf. Okay, so wh- what cart is the pole with? He would be cart f- four. The dice players? Yeah. Okay. The unlucky gnome, pole. No, no, sorry, he'd be cart six. Because then there's the dice players, then there's five, which is the... Alvarista? Yeah. I think. Arvistia? Because that was the um, that was the fighter who was like brand new, right? I think so. How do you spell her name? Uh, A R V U S T A. Yep. Yeah, she's a okay. uh, yeah, and that's kind of why she was in like the the kind of like tattered garb and everything. Because in addition to wow. being brand new, the only people who would take her on were the four hire we hire anyone mercenaries. Okay. I totally spelled her name wrong. I thought it was O R V U S T I A. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh, I thought you. St- oh, okay. Never mind. So the human merchant is in cart three with the halfling, or is she in? There, there's multiple human merchants. Okay, okay. Uh, that's part of the. That's part of the problem is like they Dice for, for a lot of these guys they went like female guard, right. human merchant, human right. merchant, okay. Archie Ulitch, Ulitch, elf merchant, like lawyer, human scrolls, refined goods. Seven was an open cart, the female gnome. Uh, the second one was the cart with a tarp, the wizards of Thay. Yeah. Okay. So who do we want to let go that... Well, because what we, you said we got to pick two to pay attention to? Right. Those were the two that you were paying the most attention to to help guide while they were near you. Right. So I'm assuming the... The, whatever cart with the pole in it is one of them, and yeah. then we just have to pick another one. Um, which I think the merchant, the the Archie Ulitich, Ulit, 
I can't read my own handwriting. That's cool. He couldn't read his name, which is why his name is Archie now. <laughs> <laughs> that's my that's my uh, my two bits. So the cart three with the halfling and the human and the dwarf woman is that the other one we want to look at? Keep an eye on or the lawyer or the dice players with the angry gnome. I don't really care about like, I mean. I have no personal attachments to them. If there's something that has more valuable cargo or right. somebody who's going to lose more. Right. If they. But the female gnome is right out. We're not even. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Just I don't really. Kick to the side. All right. So six and three. Okay. So six and three. All right. So that leaves. Uh, four, five and seven. Right. Okay. Um, is one of those just a donkey? Uh, that that is the female gnome <laughs> okay. donkey and her little cart yeah. of yeah. terrible yeah. smelling yeah. goods. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Just <laughs> she gives no fucks. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> That's what her bumper sticker says. <laughs> I don't honk for anybody. <laughs> Okay. Um, <clears throat> so uh, yeah, you you're, you're keeping with the two more experienced uh, carts, and about two hours into the storm, uh, you do pull up to the um, to the way station, uh, and. This one, um, it's roughly the same size. So, um, and uh, you uh, do see that the um, carts are already there and they're pulled in very much out of the way into the stables. Um, and uh, the horses have been uh, unhitched and sheltered inside the stable uh, is the uh, nervous driver of the carriage and the uh, driver of the cart. Uh, The head guard, his buddy, the shotgun of the carriage, and the wizard are not within sight, but there is light coming with inside the, the longhouse. Or the lodging house. Um, and you and your, you and the, your, uh, your companions and the other two carts, you know, they kind of all arrive at the same time. Um, there's still enough space to where you could uh, put your carts and horses up and have them be predominantly shielded from the storm. Uh, though it's not the same coziness level as what you would be getting from the from uh, actually having them within inside the stable. Right. Um, They've parked their carts up too much there, and okay. Sorry, we were with what carts three and six, six. So they, so us three and six are at the way station. The other ones kind of got uh, the other ones. Yeah, you you weren't able to. It was help everybody. J- just too much rain coming down. Um, they may teeter in, or they may just be claimed. Okay. We'll find out. So, how how is the storm progressing? Uh, it's been solid sheets for uh, since you guys started. Since since it, since it first started coming down, like you know, it first started like this. It was very much one of those slight progressions. You know, pip pat pip pat pip pat pip pat, and then like someone just unzipped the sky, and it's just all been coming down for at least uh, you know, two hours. At wow. this point, uh, and currently it shows no sign of stopping. I mean, but at this point in time, it, it's coming down in such volume that you can't even like look up at the sky. Right. There's just just mm-hmm. water in your eyes. Okay, it, it doesn't seem to be a violent storm though. Just lots and lots of rain, or is there lots like wind, rain. thunder, lightning, um, danger? No super heavy winds, okay. but uh, definitely you hear the rolls of thunder, and there's most likely lightning involved with it. Yep. But yeah, no, the, the wind. 
you would actually almost wish there was more wind because it would mean it's moving quicker. Mm -hmm. Right. Where this seems to be a very slow. Okay. It's almost coming straight down. Slightly to the side, like, you know. It's good Scottish (laughs) weather. Uh. Do we want to try and put a tarp up for the horses or anything, or just leave them? We want to try to shelter them as much, or I want to try to shelter them as much as possible. Yeah, and that's what I was getting at. Is like you're, you guys, you uh, with the shelter that's available, you can get your cart between you know everyone's carts. You're able to shield up the horses. Okay. Um, I'm going to let them shield up the horses. I'm going to make sure that uh, our cart is uh, protected from getting stuck and. You know, yeah, if there's any kind of flood or mud or anything like that, I want to try to uh, use some energy to prevent us from being stuck here. Okay. Um, roll me a... I guess this should just be another survival. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. 18. 18? Okay, yeah. Um, you grab some of the... Because e- each of these stations has, uh, like, wood and shit that's left over and aside so you actually go and you find a few planks um and you put those underneath the carts so that even if it does sink that wood is what's going to sink in and you'll be able to roll off and on it okay so even with your cart sitting there as the mud builds up you know you you're positive that you'll be able to get out um and uh the that female dwarf uh you know, she sees you doing this and is like, that's a great fucking idea. And so she does it to okay. hers as well. Uh, the Poles crew doesn't really seem to give a fuck. Um, and actually, while uh, everyone else is uh, taking care of horses and uh, battening down some hatches for the cart, uh, the Pole actually does lumber himself straight inside of uh, the lodge. I'm going to follow him. All right. Into the lodge. Okay. Um, as you follow him inside, uh, you do see sitting at uh, one of the tables is um, the second rider and uh, the shotgun. Um, you don't see the wizard or the... Uh, Uh, or the, 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 the captain. Uh, they don't seem to be uh, anywhere in sight in this first main room. Uh, the pole kind of goes over to one of the tables and just kind of like lays himself down across it, um, turning it in, turning it into a uh, makeshift bed and just lies down and begin and just, I guess, starts to rest. Are there any open tables? Oh, yeah. Uh, All right. The the room is full of open tables. At this point in time, you've got two guys sitting at the end of one, like, essentially long picnic table, and then the pole sprawled out over another one. There's probably easily another four or five of these long tables that are completely unoccupied. Um and I'd like to choose one. I'd like to choose one that's that's off in a corner, and I'm just going to sit with good vantage point. Everybody. Okay. Yeah. No, you can totally do that. Um, and if you want to, uh, you'll be over near a uh, an oven. So if you wanted to light it up, you can have some heat coming in. Um, that, that's what the uh, the two guards for the uh, the red wizard have done. They've got a little fire going behind them, and that's where the lights coming from. Um, Is there a fireplace in these things? Oh, there's like rows. several rows of stove. There's like there's like okay. one e- each end of the the lodge houses have like three or four stoves lined okay. along them. That's kind of like where the light and heat come from. From okay. this, um, there is like two overhead chandeliers. I mean, if somebody wants to get up there and start lighting individual candles, have fun. Yeah. It'll probably take about an hour to do both chandeliers. Um. Provided there are wicks. Right. <laughs> uh, there is also um, an actual, like, uh, the, generally speaking, there are, like, small larders and things like that that do keep some dry goods. Um, if you want to go try to find, if, you know, suspicious while you're doing this, you want to go try to find one of those. 
So there's a little bit of because you, know, you guys didn't really go inside or explore, right? Uh, last time, at least on uh, Mike. But you, these are some things you would have found out being there. Okay. Yeah, I'll I'll find a larder and also light the little stove thing. Okay. Um, yeah, and there's a, there's a small pile of wood right next to it. So you grab like two or three logs, put those in tinder flint lit. That was pretty easy to do. Um, you make your ba- way back uh, towards uh, what would be like the larder, which would have gone downstairs. And there, that's where you find uh, the captain uh, standing uh, in front of the door. And he kind of puts a hand up as you approach and just goes, what do you need? I'll go and get it for you. I'm not quite sure what I need. I'm going to go look. Somewhere outside, Zell and uh, Carrie and both like perk up like something's amiss. He's <laughs> like, I can't let you I'm do that. I'm missing something. <laughs> uh, he says, can't let you do that. Uh, my master is using these as his private quarters for while we're here. When the rain lets up, he will move them back outside. Until then, whatever you need, I can run down and get it for you. I'm going to give a little crackle in my mouth and go back over to the fire. Sit down and think. Okay. We haven't actively hunted for anything in a while, have we? Mm-mm. Bear, deer. Yeah, but you guys had like a ton of fucking meat. I thought like, we had a bunch of bear Yeah, meat. we have a bunch yeah. of food. Yeah. Yeah, you, you guys have like eat, eat, it with your with all of your travel time and all of your uh cuz like like it, you've you've been going from town to town where right. you've been kind of like getting food here and there. But like you know, you haven't had to act, you haven't had to actively hunt because uh-huh. you guys like knock down like three or four large game animals. Yeah, yeah. and even a- with <laughs> the amount of food that you know Cespedes would have to consume, right? You guys have not eaten the bear right. yet because we expertly like skin that thing. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, we yeah. rolled awesome on that. Yeah. Um, yeah, and like before Eric even joined, I think you guys got like two deer on top of that. Yes, a yeah. deer and a boar and all kinds yeah. of shit. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna gather some food out of the cart. Once it's all set up and secure and, and haul it inside, yeah, yeah. Let's and go make some food, Zell. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm not gonna sit and stand watch over a cart when it's wet outside. Yeah. So fuck it. Yeah, I'm gonna help you guys, and we'll we'll cook for for the rest of the people when they when they show up too. Yeah, yeah why not? Have yeah, a warm you, have a warm meal ready if they yeah. make it in, and you guys easily have enough to make a feast for the entire yeah. group, and it's probably about to flip. So. Yeah. Probably a now or never kind of deal. Yeah. yeah. Sounds good to me. Uh, does the paladin have any, what is it, purified food and water that turns it back, keeps it from rotting? Wasn't that something? That was in the Pathfinder right. game. That was in the Pathfinder game. And that was food the would that was, never that was, go bad. Yeah. It was good luck. Because I, I, I found out how much I could purify as the, uh-huh. as the bard. Yeah. Uh, and it was one of those, like, yeah, I can do insane. this much. So. Like every two days, he was just repurifying everything so it never went bad anyway because it was a cantrip yeah so it was just yeah yeah so i guess we'll go inside and make some food and light a fire and sit in front of it and ring my yeah tiny little vest out i'm gonna hang it up to dry guys how much i despise dry that off guy blocking the door <laughs> I, I pay more attention to the 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 fletching on my arrows and my bowstring <laughs> than i do to the you know clothing that i'm wearing what clothing exactly she's got a skirt yeah just doesn't take that long to try. I I'm going to break out. I believe I have uh, dragon chess. No, I rolled. I, yeah, I was proficient in it, and you said that if you if oh, you get that sorry. proficiency, you have a set of it or whatever. Yeah. Um. So I don't have that listed, but I probably just messed that up somehow. It's listed so. under something weird. It's not under items. Okay. Uh, like my dice was under something else. It was under to, tools. I had to put it into tools, my, yeah. yeah, I had to put it yeah. into my okay. encumbrance and all that stuff. Yeah, it, it, it's one of those, for. like, you are, if you if you start right. yeah. proficient in a tool, game set, or musical instrument, you are considered having it. Um, now, I can take your chess set away from you at some yeah, point yeah, yeah. like let's say you're in the middle of playing no more chess no well i mean like, of your shit. like for example let's say you left it on the cart and the cart gets stolen right there it goes um taking everything with me inside 
<laughs> no, what is he going to do? Well, the, the thief is going to stop and go, hmm, I'll leave the bagpipes, yep. the dragon chests, and the carpentry tools. Mm-hmm. <laughs> my pitons, my piece of paper, uh, everything's going in. <laughs> piece of papier. Yep. Okay. Yeah, so uh, this isn't something I typically break out when we're camped out in the wilderness because there's right. no good place and there's lots of pieces to dragon chess. But uh, now that we're in the lodging, I'm going to see if anybody wants to play some dragon chess. Nice. All right. Um, first round, I'm going to give you as an option to anyone who's currently here. Does anyone want to play his dragon chess with him? I am not proficient in it at all. I will teach, teach you. Dice are my thing. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be worried. I'm going to try and cook. That's what I'll be doing most of this time. Okay. I mean, it, okay, so if if, if Keridan won't and Cespedes is, isn't interested, I will play j- just to have some. So I mean, it's that you a game with pretty bored. pieces. Of course you will. Right. <laughs> and I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm sure. Why not? Okay. So he doesn't sit in the corner and play by himself. Right. That's the. If he looks like he's like wanting to play and nobody is taking him up on it yet, I'll sit down. No, that's actually exactly what happens. Is I go over and I'm pretty proud of this set, so I, I, I pull it out and and uh, I'm taking the utmost care with it and kind of cleaning off my pieces with a with a cloth that I have and setting them up. And uh, I may not look like uh, I'm really wanting people to play. I, I do, but. This is more of a, a, a pride piece for, for this lonely soldier. Okay. Okay. Loud noises. I just... <laughs> fuck that die. It's over there now. <laughs> okay. Karen, um, hand me some of that meat before you cook it. Okay. So... Uh, the uh, the shotgun does kind of like peek his head up and look over your dragon set, but uh, he doesn't seem to get up. Um, you know, in uh, a couple of minutes after you, you, know, you know, so you've got your set all polished and set up, and uh, Keridan is cooking, um, Cespedes is scowling, Zell is in attendance at Dragon Chest and thinks the pieces are pretty and wants to know, um, you know, like, it, it's very much like, why is it Dragon Chest if none of the, if none of the pieces are dragons? Because yours is very much, uh, it's a, it's a set that is resembled that of what the elves are fond, fondly refer to as the Beard War. So you have one set that's all elves, the other set that's all shaved dwarves. <laughs> Dude, you have no idea how much pride I have in this set right now. <laughs> oh, I know. I it's even... almost as if you shaved off their beards yourself. Oh, the, the, the polish on those shiny chins. <laughs> yeah, but basically, once you get it all set up and 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 you're you're still like, you know, now and then I'm I'm basically sitting there going, okay, now what? <laughs> and then you have to teach me, but I will play. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, so you go through and like, and uh, the other guards uh, do start to wander in. Um, the poles crew starts to light the two um, stoves over by uh, him, um, and uh, they start to go about uh, putting together their own little rations. The uh, uh, female dwarf's crew, uh, she goes about. More or less the same, um, but uh, they seem to be more focused on uh, warmth and drying out uh, cloaks than immediately preparing for food. And, um, you know, two, three hours later, the storm continues to roll on through. Uh, this is now the late afternoon, uh, and still no sign of the other... Uh, three uh, carts. Huh. Food's been prepared. Food has been eaten. Chess has been played. Other games of dice and cart- cards have come out. Um, just more relaxed. It, it's very... It, and it, the Well, the intensity of the storm has not let up. 
its constant white noise effect that it's having in here yeah. has been kind of relaxing. Okay. Mm-hmm. So any last thing you want to do before... I'm going to try to pick up another hand of cards because I'm trying to learn how to play this game properly. <laughs> You're going to pick up another hand of cards? Yeah. I was learning how to play cards. Oh. And we were doing this by by having me play cards. Okay. Did, did, did she get any... Uh, 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 good skills for me for for me teaching her dragon chess. Can can she play dragon chess now? She is not proficient in it. I am, but she does have some information about the beard war. Okay. <laughs> 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 yeah. Basically, it's a, oh okay. So this can yeah. I I know how the pieces move. I don't know how to strategy the game at all. It's cool. Right. It's very it's very. It's very difficult. Like the the only thing that would make it difficult to play against me is that you cannot predict what I'm going to do, <laughs> because I both don't know how to play the game and I'm also inherently unable to make a plan and follow through. All right. Well, after 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 she kind of loses interest, because uh, uh, I'm guessing it's not as interesting once it becomes a thing of strategy. <laughs> right. Uh, not not at all. I, I will <laughs> offer to teach anyone or play anyone else. Okay. It's bugging me that my dice is over there. Hold on a second. <laughs> Feller thinks this is kind of a treat, you know, when you're on the road. It's not something he breaks out every day, but if in the right place at the right time, you know, feast on the fire and <laughs> dragon chess. Yeah, I like that. Okay. So, um... Okay. No one in the polls crew even looks up when you s- like. Does anyone want to play dragon chess? <laughs> okay. Um, but the uh, uh, you do see a few people like look over uh, from uh, the uh, dwarf guards group, you know, and with their uh, halfling merchant, and they're all like, like, oh, we have. He's a he's a fancy boy. <laughs> so they start, <laughs> yeah. So they, they get a little more comments about that. But uh, the shotgun uh, does um, finally stand up uh, and uh, comes over uh, and uh, sits down. And I mean, like, still head to toe armor. I mean, like, as far as you know, this is a clockwork golem. I mean, like. <laughs> <laughs> the the only face you've seen has been like well, of the guards has been like the captain of the guards. So you're like, oh my mm-hmm. god, there's a is there a soul in there? <laughs> Beyond and, stoic, right? And uh, without a word, just gestures over the board and to the seat. I I, I nod at him. Right. They sit down and. Uh, they pick up one of the shaved dwarf pieces, begins to examine it, slight shakes of the head, sets it down, and uh, gestures to you. Um, it's not a move. They've put they put it back. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's you, uh, if you want to give kind of like a if you're trying to figure out what they're what they're feeling, or you can give yeah. like a sense motive or okay, yeah, I'll uh... which I think is just a perception now. Insight. Insight. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Uh, Fourteen. Okay. Uh, it's very much that uh, like shakes my head. This is silly, but at the same point in time, they are gesturing for you to you know, it's your bo- board. The polite thing is to let you go first. Okay. So I make my first move uh, with with a. Uh, Casual quickness. Okay. Um, so uh, the way this will work, because it is a strategy game, you get your proficiency plus your intelligence modifier. Okay. Oh, that's horrible. I'm not that smart. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray for proficiencies. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's going to be uh, that versus theirs. Okay. Fifteen. Okay. Uh, 
it's a very close game. But uh, the shotgun does squeak out a victory. Okay. Uh, I, 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 and, and none of the strategies they used were like too hard for you to see. It's like, oh, he did capitalize on that. Damn, you know. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right, sounds good. Yeah. And uh, if you want, they'll play another round with you. Um. I I want to know if any of the uh, the thinkers from the wizards group are paying any kind of attention to this. I know I know they're kind of in their own area, but I, I, I'm kind of trying to draw their attention. Okay. Um, I mean, you guys are sat a little bit away and you have no clear line of sight to the larder, which is where mm-hmm. the guard is stand, the captain is standing in front of, and the wizard is then back inside that. Um, but I mean like the shotgun is like of the wizard's group and of, the wizards group is oh, the okay. only one that uh because it, it, it's one of those like you have the carriage driver and then this person who i, ca- I keep calling him the shotgun because he just sits there with a large ass crossbow like fuck with me approach the approach i dare you okay so in that case since he's part of that group um and he won the game i'm going to offer my board and pieces to him to play any of the rest of his crew um as I see that he's a, you know, is at least skilled as I am, and it's always good to watch and learn uh, the game. Okay. Um, my my goal here is to to kind of open conversations with the with the wizards group. Yeah. Um, and you see them, um, kind of like, kind of sit straighter up. Kind of, uh, they they do look over their shoulder and they kind of like wave at the, the only other guard that's mm-hmm. in here of theirs, and they just kind of shake their head and wave off. Okay. Um, I tried. And then the, at which point in time he uh, the shotgun then just looks at you and just like continue. Sure, yeah. I let him uh, make the first move this time. All right. Is he saying anything this whole time? No, it's gesturing? all been gestures. Mm. It's all been gestures. Okay. All right. Uh, so, and the shotgun is human. Yes, uh, or okay. at least you believe so, because like everything from Thane is human. Yeah. Uh, incredibly xenophobic. Okay. Um, it, it's kind of from what you know of people of Thane. Part of the reason they've probably kept to themselves is be. Because they are keeping to humans to interact with, they, they don't really interact with the other species. So, I mean, you're already bridging that racism gap by uh, offering a game of chess. Okay. Yeah. So I let him go ahead and take the first round or first move. Uh, I got a 17 that time. All right. Uh, second move seems to be lucky as you do uh, win out um, kind of now knowing a little bit more of their strategy uh, you left uh, some similar uh, points open that were before that they had capitalized on and then immediately used those as reversals okay. um, Given that I'm guessing Dragon Chess is like like our chess, these games, uh, right. I, I'm not that smart, so these games probably last a little bit. Like I'm not very fast at it. Right, but um, neither is neither yeah, are so, they. Uh, so they probably last a little while. I, I, that's probably all all the games I'll play for the night. Yeah, e- easily. Each game was a little over an hour, and you were coming up on uh, after. Uh, teaching Zell and everything. He was coming up on uh, late afternoon, early evening. So now, okay. with with the extra um, fatigue from traveling, even just a few hours in the rain, you all, uh, you know, kind of get tired a little bit sooner. Um, and after, after the second game, you know, reaches out to, sh- you know, shake. Yeah, hand, I was going to say I'm, I'm going to stand, give him a salute, and then reach my hand out to to uh, shake his hand. Mm-hmm. Uh, they accept your hand. It's a quick, firm shake through the gauntlet. Uh, he goes back over to uh, his buddy, where they each uh, pick up a few bowls and make their way back to the larder. Okay. 
Uh, Keridin, Cespedes, Zell. Yeah, you wanted to play some I cards, to play cards. So let's. You had declared that, so let's do that. Um, it's very much the same thing. So. With. Um, because let's see, this is uh, this is gambling, so this is charisma. Right. So uh, you're not proficient in them yet, so it would just be straight charisma rolls. Mm-hmm. And I would say, we're, we'll just do, um, we'll just do the one roll, um, and it's you going to be against like three other guys. Yeah. Uh, and we'll see, um, you know, like, because there is betting involved with all these card games, so let's see right. if you win any. Probably not. All right. What was your total? Twelve. Twelve. Okay. Generally speaking, you stayed in on the... uh, on, uh, On the blinds and, you know, got through, like, the first... Uh, round or two of betting before you were like, no, this isn't really. You're starting to real. You're starting to realize how betting works. Um, <laughs> oh, that's how. Yeah. Uh, you do end up losing uh, three silver <laughs> in total throughout the cart. Throughout the, you know, you had you had one or, one or two wins and, uh, but you know, three losses. So, and, and you start to realize that, oh, you know, like. Literally, betting is actually part of the game. Not always is it what cards do you have. Well, and, and it's one of those things where it's like, it, and my betting can be very arbitrary too. Where it's just like I don't, I don't always associate value with money. Right <laughs> is is the way it seems. It's just like mm, arbitrarily this much. Oh, I don't, that sounds like too much now. Like, <laughs> right. Which is what's kind of made it, which kind of made it a little difficult for these guys to keep up with you. But uh, at the same point in time, they did get better hands. So. Yeah, that's fine. No, I know I got a good hand. There's no way that she's got the. <laughs> okay, she didn't. Okay, what the? F- <laughs> right. <It's- laughs> Why did she go in opposite suit Jack seven, sp- Jack two split? Like, <laughs> like what the? F- <laughs> I had pretty cards. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, these two have faces. Right, right. You know, <laughs> she's not an idiot. She just doesn't necessarily pay attention to the things she should be paying attention to all the time. Okay. Uh, anyway, so suspicious. Uh, Carrot, did you guys want to? Uh, just besides cooking the food, uh, I guess I'll just take a bowl over to the pole, just set it on the, the table next to his head, and then point to the other people if they want anything, and walk back over and sit and eat. Okay. Um. The uh, little guy who's basically been working as the mouth for the pole. Um, that <laughs> he's gonna wind up just missing one day. Yeah. <laughs> mouth for the pole. He uh, <laughs> he he intercepts you to bring the uh, food over, and it's like, like what are you doing? I'm bringing him food. We've got food. Roll me a survival check real quick. Let's see how good you cooked. Yeah, that's what's going to before I offer it. But. <laughs> right. uh, I mean, you had enough time. I'm going to go with. You're probably not going to get something. Seventeen. Yeah, yeah, it actually smells really good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would have gone over to the larder with and asked for things out of there. Yeah, and you know, it. salt, pepper. They've got yeah. those kind of things and you know. some herbs. Sort of stuff, right? And so, like, it's it's most and you keep going over there one at a time just to be yeah. make him do more work, exactly. exactly. <laughs> well, now the recipe up, calls for walk right. over, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't taste right. I need a little bit more salt, about a teaspoon, please. <laughs> when I asked for a clove of garlic before, I really meant three. Could you go find two more? Maybe tries to hand you a bulb, you hand the rest back, <laughs> yeah. take one out, right? <laughs> <laughs> nope, that's all. Thank you. <laughs> It does. It smells really good, and you can actually like. He does start to like sniff the air, yeah. and uh, if you would like a bowl, you may have some too. 
we have enough for everybody. But if he's as tired as I am from our encounter, then I'm bringing a bolt to him. Roll a persuasion. Not being mean. Oh, it's supposed to be mean? No. That's why it's persuasion. Yeah, that's why it's persuasion and not intimidation. Fifteen. Fifteen. Uh, he, uh, he, he, as you bring it over, kind of like stepping around him almost, uh, he does put one hand out real quick, goes, just one second. He kind of like takes a quick finger in, dips, what? and tastes it. Use the spoon, man! <laughs> you just... <laughs> that is you glad, it is Adam. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna kill you <laughs> soon. <laughs> We're out of bear meat. <laughs> How much of that was in character? Out of curiosity, all in the eyes. It's all in the eyes. <laughs> well, even down to the use a spoon, man. <laughs> that, that was said out loud. Use a spoon. He's sticking his fingers in his stuff. Kind of like you see him like mulling it around in his mouth. His All right, <laughs> you can give it to him. <laughs> Walk over and set it down. Make Is he awake? Him the guy had his fingers in it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, his eyes are closed. His breathing is even. The pole. Right. Um, Still don't know what language he speaks, do we? No, you do. What does he speak? He speaks common. Oh. Just relatively slowly and deliberately. Slowly, deliberately sparingly um and that's mostly because he speaks right sparingly uh the mouth tends to do most of the speaking oh. okay. and a lot of the time he seems to if he says anything he seems to whisper it into the mouth who then right. projects yeah that's why i thought he didn't speak but like a certain language or something yeah no um yeah you, you've had some interactions you know he does in fact speak okay uh common and he it's at the very least, even even if you haven't heard his voice for some reason, right. um, people have spoken common directly to him, and he okay. has said something to the mouth who right. has responded, and it's been very clear, very concise. Okay. And there have been a few times where the mouth has run off, and it clearly was not what the poll was intending for him to say. He got backhanded. Okay. <laughs> There were also a few times where he was resistant to say what the poll wanted him to say, yeah. and he got backhanded. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I walk over, set it down, food, turn around and walk away. Um, and uh, a few of the other uh, guys do come over with... Uh, Mostly mugs or cups, not really having bowls. And they do just kind of like dip into the pot. And okay. Give a quick cheer. Um, you get kind of like the sense like the only one of them that really has a problem with you is mouth. Uh, we'll fix that soon. <laughs> the rest. Our dragon gets hungry. Yeah. <laughs> the rest are either. Uh, the rest mostly show a, a, a terms of uh, indifference. So once the bear spoils, yeah. right? The mouth is mine. Uh, is the captain eating at all, or is he just trying to ignore all this? Uh, do you go back? Because like to get to the larder, you actually have to go down a hallway and turn. And uh, I'll dip a cup out and take it to him. Okay. Um, when you approach, right? Um, you actually see the shotgun standing oh. in front of the door now. He ate. Does the shotgun eat? Uh, you saw the shotgun pick up a bowl with of their own food with the other okay. guard. So uh, Falar saw that. I don't know if you saw that or not. Roll me a perception. We'll find out if you saw them take a... Uh... No. Yeah, you were focused on your own cooking. Yeah. Um, so you don't know if he ate or not, but you do know that now he's standing guard. Where before... Like, and you had been up here like, right. pretty frequently just to piss off the head guard. And right. <laughs> the head guard's not here now. Right. <laughs> A little disappointed. <laughs> I was gonna piss him off even more if someone yeah. else gets good good stew, yeah, or good food. I brought this for the captain because he helped me get ingredients. If you want it, that's fine. If he wants it, that's fine. Hand it to him. Okay. Uh, he accepts it. 
just kind of give a quick nod, and they uh, reach back and knock on the door. I, d- I start walking away. Okay. All right. Anything else? Mm-hmm. Anything suspicious? No, I'm still grumbling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to eat that mouth. <laughs> I'm kind of with the guards, though. I don't know if I want the dragon in the larder. <laughs> is it like a fox in the hen house? Yeah, I yeah. think it really is. <laughs> well, it's all dried goods, and he only eats raw meat, so yeah. well, it well, actually is probably the best safe. place yeah. to set it on yeah. fire. I thought I thought it was lightning, though. There. You could break out that freaking hammer and... <laughs> break down the wall, the down. door, the... <laughs> Everything else, I don't know. It's going to be Aerosmith and Rum DNC just breaking right. down the walls. <laughs> I could have sworn I smelled jerky down there. I, I wanted it. I thought you didn't eat dried meat. We dried some bear. Hungry. Yeah, but he insisted on taking like a whole leg yeah. right off the thing and eating it without yeah. drying it. So I guess he prefers. It. it was real good. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to lay down on one of the benches because I am literally exhausted. Oh yeah, um, literally both. What what a lot of people end up doing is, especially considering there's so few in number of you, um, you're able to uh, spread out across the benches. You're able to like like easily like two people could use the table as almost like a like a full size or almost like a queen size bed. Um, I'm on first first watch, right? Or my second watch? I don't remember. I don't remember Has any of the other carts shown up? No. Okay. Um, I'm going to put up my dragon chest set as everyone else is trying to, you know, settle in and get get some shit eye or meditate or however people want to rest. And I'm going to, um, you know, pull my, my cloak out and head outside a little bit and uh, just scout around a little bit. Um not go too far away. Like I'm not. I don't want to go get in a bunch of danger, but I want to see if I can see any signs of all the rest of our carts that we're struggling with. Because it's been a few hours, right? Like it's been a long time. Oh yeah, no, it's been six, seven hours probably. Oh since, wow. Yeah, because I mean, like you guys got because you got to remember you got here, uh, so it was like two hours in the pouring rain, and so it's like six, seven hours since the rain started. Wow. Okay. Um, and then you know you were probably there and getting some things together for about an hour or two, teaching her how to play. And then you then you had two really long games and then dinner. Um, so I mean, like, yeah, it's it's a uh, mid evening. It's definitely go okay. to bedtime. Well, you guys were helping those other carts out. I was driving, which wasn't as strenuous. So I'm gonna take. I'm gonna go ahead and volunteer for the first watch and kind of go back down the road a little bit and see if I can see anything with those other carts. I'll Again, I, I don't want to go too far. I'll volunteer for the last watch. Okay. okay. I'll uh, While you go do that, I'm going to sit on top of a table next to some food and, and use that as a meditating spot. Okay. Because I don't I'm actually have to sleep, corner. so it, I can <laughs> do it sitting up. Yep. All right. Uh, do me two things. Roll me a survival and then roll me a perception. Uh, the survival is going to cover both... Um, Retracing your tracks as well as staying within a decent range of uh, the cottage. Okay. My survival's a 12. Okay. And then you said perception? Uh, yeah. Oh, geez. That's uh, seven. Okay. Um, Gotta get low sometime. You, you, you do uh, venture a, you know, a, 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 what you would consider a decent distance out, but honestly, you're not too certain. Just because, again, it, it you might as well be swimming at this point with the amount of water that's coming down. And you start to get a little nervous as uh, the lights get dimmer and dimmer behind you. And you're not sure. It's like, am I just getting that far away? Or are they turning the lights out inside? Okay. Um, and uh, knowing to get lost out here in a storm is, you know death yeah you opt for life um you you have a mission that you need to be alive in order to take care of and so you choose that over what may already be a lost cause is 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 essentially how you end up justifying this um whether or not it sits ultimately well with you that's up for you to decide but that seems to be the logic you end up going with okay 
Um, and uh, you do, you, and you uh, you make your way back, and I mean, you were between uh, your circular patrol out around the the lodge and back. You were maybe only gone for like an hour, and you are soaked. Okay, like you uh, in to, in order to achieve comfort, you're. Uh, you'd have to strip off your armor and cloaks and everything, like pretty much just down to your britches. Okay. Or you know, I'm used. Fuck it, you might go naked. I don't I'm, know. Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm a soldier. I'm. I'm used to routines such as this. You know. Yeah. Being out on watch and whatnot, so no big deal to me. Yeah. I mean, at the same point in time, though, you do have the nice dry shelter of sure. the uh, um, of the of the of the longhouse. So coming back inside, you know, you could easily. You, you don't feel too unsafe taking off your armor, especially considering you'll be awake. Mm-hmm. But you'll probably put it back on before you go to sleep because there's some be shady. Ready. There yeah. are some shady bitches here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you can sleep next to me. Uh, I know I want to. No, I want to be able to focus on meditation, not <laughs> snoring. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> You do not a uh, sufficient white noise generator make. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, you go through the rest of your watch, uneventful, no one shows up. Um, there are a few loud booms of lightning uh, here and there. Uh, but, uh, when, when, when they do seem to crack, everyone does seem to kind of like wake up, like, huh. oh, okay. And it's a, and the uh, uh, the longhouse just seems to like creak and sway, mostly under being just the constant hammering of water, though nothing's leaking. You're all dry, and it's that relative safety given where you are uh, does allow for most of you to sleep as you go through your meditations your rest your watch um and uh it's towards the end of uh Keridan's watch where Keridan, you kind of realize, like, oh, most people would have been up and started moving about an hour ago, but everyone still seems to be asleep, and you don't even see the sun, and it's like, you kind of wonder how much time has actually passed, because Hmm. the rain continues to just pour at this constant metronome. Huh. No one seems to really, uh, get up um one of the other guys who was on like the same rotation as you he starts to move and actively stir his uh hmm. his group like you alive <laughs> and they, they when, he, when he does it they actually do seem to wake up um huh. you know and one of them you know it's that uh angry uh bad luck known from before it's like what are you doing waking me up it's not sun's not even out <laughs> Well, I guess if we're not leaving in the storm, I'll let our group sleep in a little bit longer or meditate. Or I whatever. say I'll probably be up at that point because I would have gotten my meditation before on his watch. So I'm right. good for the day still in the morning, but it's weird. Yeah. I'll probably go check on the horses at yeah, some point. Yeah, so I was going to go outside. And- yeah. Um, and, uh, as you uh, you go outside, uh, roll me a perception check. Ew, that's not too good. I might have actually succeeded at something. Hang on. That is an 11. And skills. 24. Okay. Uh, you notice that the... Uh, Wind has most uh, certainly uh, picked up, and it seems like okay, the storm is finally starting to move through. We probably opened up, settled, was getting everything down, but the wind is definitely 
you know, now now the now the rain is at a slant. Okay, so we have however many hours are left until right. this thunderstorm moves through, but it is in fact moving through. So you've got that little bit of, you know, hope maybe we can get on with this. Um, you hear very faintly coming from, say, the southeast of you. This very, um, it, it sounds like a like like a like a like a very high pitched bray, like coming from a horse of some kind. Okay. Um, it's kind of echoing around, but it does seem a good distance away. But you you can clearly hear it, and whatever animal this is is in clear distress. Distress. Okay. Um, f- first things first is did did you hear that? You did not. No. Okay. So there's, I, I explain animal distress noises coming from, it's hard to tell in the rain, but I think it's coming from that direction. Um, but if it's the other part, like it's worth check. Like if they're within audible range, I want to go check it out. Okay. Um, I don't know if you want to come or not. Yeah. Okay. Well then I cast Grab Mage my- Armor. Grab my gear. <laughs> Shall we run? <laughs> yes, I, I think it's. I don't think it's worth it to take the horses out in this. Like, we'll should probably. We let, should we let anyone out know real quick? And Thalar and I are still inside. Uh, yeah, I guess we should. Sleeping. I'm still meditating. I poke my head in the door. We're gonna go check something out. Animal in distress. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, it piques my interest. It breaks my meditation. Like. Everyone's like, "Fuck yeah, we're bored." <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, like everybody runs out. The the, the <laughs> other uh, the other party the other. Uh, Wagons are like, fuck it, something to do. <laughs> I put on my underwear. <laughs> no, no, he's just, been letting it all hang out. Out. I'm confused. Why would you wear those? <laughs> Support. Can anybody wake me up? <laughs> That's yeah, they woke you up. <laughs> yes. Because at this point, you've been asleep for almost 12 hours. So it's. <laughs> How is it 12 hours now? Okay. Well, we make. But we could each take like right. four hour watches. So. Like we can cover a twelve-hour yeah, shift. You can have all the sleep you want, um, without over, even if if we don't overlap. What a what a lucky dragonborn! You I is. know, right? Yeah, we right. feed him. We let him sleep. <laughs> it's the life. It's the life. It's the most well rested dragonborn. When we need a building knocked down, you better be there for us, buddy. <laughs> and right now, I am tapping my foot very impatiently while I wait for all of you to put on all of your ridiculously or like complicated armor. Yeah. Oh no, I'm I'm good to go. I just grabbed my cloak. Yeah, that's fine. That, that I'm cloak waiting. and underwear. Yeah, but, he's good to go. Cloak right, and undies. I'm, I mean, if well, I get everything else getting wet. armored, then then that I'm impatient. Still. I put my hood no, up I on my vest. I, I never about it. Off. Yes. Okay. <laughs> he's that a looks dragonborn. uncomfortable. He's, he sleeps in his armor because <laughs> yeah. his armor is armor. That's like fair. his body scales are armor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. Good. Let's go. Yep. Okay. Um, I'm like it was over that way. So some of the other people that were in the lodge with us decided oh, yeah, to come yeah. too. Easily, like half of the lodge <laughs> is like, let's do this. <laughs> I'm bored. It's starting to stink in there. Let's go. <laughs> Everyone needs a shower. <laughs> uh, Chamber pot still a thing. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you all, uh, and uh, also every every like immediately like w- at least one person from each group. So like mouth and. Uh, the dwarf immediately run over, check there, like, okay, our animals are good. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Head out. Yeah. Okay. Uh, not going to let this be done group wise. I'm going to need each of you to roll your own perception okay. and uh, survival. Okay. All right. Natural 20 on the perception. Okay. I still hear it. Yeah, you've, you've, you've honed in. You're like, it's this far away. It's That was almost another 20. Ooh. I know. Uh, it turns into a 16 on survival. Okay. 21 on the perception. My survival, I rolled a 1, so it's a 5. <laughs> okay. 13 on my perception. And 17 on my survival. I'm sorry. 18 perception, 15 survival. Okay. And what was the 13 perception, 17 survival. Okay. Um so you're not really you you don't really hear what's going on, but like all of them seem to, so you're like, okay, I'll just 
keep with you and know where this is. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> you have no fucking clue where the uh, the lodge is, okay. but you 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 know enough to stay with the group. Yep. <laughs> So, you know, your powers combined, <laughs> you guys are Mary. <laughs> who, she knows exactly where it is. She knows exactly where the lodge is. She's on this. Uh, Cespedes is there, too. <laughs> uh, but no, so Cespedes also has a pretty good grasp of what's going on. Um, and you, you, you do kind of see that the other uh, group, it, it seems like only about two or three of the um, dwarfs group have come out where it seems like everybody but mouth has left the poles group um, and uh, one thing uh, did he have three levels of exhaustion he did okay so he's still plus exhausted. rage um, yeah, yeah oh so four yeah holy shit yeah he was close to dying <laughs> so he's at half speed yeah he's, he's finally back to half speed <laughs> that's crazy Um, so, uh, he, uh, but so anyway, so, so mouth seems to stay back there and maybe one or two of those other guys, but like most of the other guys are out there like, you know, and and you can actively hear them. It's like, you know, we find it, we split it 50, 50, you know, (laughs) cause they're assuming that, uh, they they seem to be very much under the assumption that, um, horse got loose and whatever was riding it before is now dead. Um, but I mean, with, uh, Mary leading the way, having heard it first, I mean, she's able to get you guys there lickety split and you do see, and it is, uh, the lawyer's group. Okay. And, uh, it seems to be him up front trying to, uh, pull, um, the uh, the horse by the barding, um, in like a weird and they, they see they're they're facing like a weird angle that's going way off road. Um, they had gotten really fucking lost. Okay. Uh, and uh, but what you can see is that the uh, uh, one of the axles has completely like sunken in to this hole and. Uh, there's this weird like black moss coming up the side um, and uh, where he had like five or six guards it's him and two guards and the other two guards are back behind trying to push okay. the wagon up and out and the horse is just having none of it it's just it is like no right. <laughs> fuck this shit so in horse exactly <laughs> okay uh okay um before like as we're coming up on them in the rain i was presu- we can probably see better than they can but i'm gonna shout out a friendly greeting before we come up on them uh out of nowhere in the dark in the rain while they're stressed um i don't really feel like getting shot at no. today that is the full fucking gambit one twenty ten. <laughs> nice. Okay. Um, one does not hear you. It's it's the little lawyer man who's up front going, please, Bessie. Um, <clears throat> where uh, then there's one guy who just the way he timed it with his shoulder, you know, like when there's like he doesn't really hear anything. But uh, one of the guards in the back does kind of like look up and show, just like, hey. Yeah, it's as much big arm gestures as as shouting. I'm, I'm sure in the in the downpour. Right. Um, um, then I look over at Cespedes and go, "You should probably help him out." Um, should I go full Mongo on the horse? No, well, get the cart out of the hole. How far away are right, we from right. the longhouse? Um, it probably took you ten, fifteen minutes to get over here. It's not a huge detour. Uh, but it is definitely further out than the circle you had made okay. yesterday. Because like before, you'd made kind of a, you'd made the circle going around the whole longhouse and the perimeter mm-hmm. and everything, uh, kind of staying within line of sight of the um, the light. Uh, where this has more been like a eh, probably closer to a 15, 20 minute beeline away. Okay, I'm gonna 
Um, I'm going to tell them I'm going to head back and see if I can find something to help out. I mean, I, I look at the situation and see that we're going to need probably materials here to help get this thing out. Okay. So I'm going to head back to see if I get some here, wood. Hold my hypothetical beer, and I'm going to go down and try to lift the cart out. <laughs> I mean, it's fancy. I hold this you hypothetical might. beer. <laughs> uh, all right. So, yeah. Um, so uh, to get there, grab some materials and maybe an able body to assist bringing materials up. Mm-hmm. Assuming you're going solo. It'll probably take you about let's see, 15 to get there. Probably take about five minutes to grab enough materials. So about 40 minutes to get there and back with everything. Okay. Um, so we'll just do that. Uh, Karen, did you want to go with him? Did you want to stay? Do you want to act as like a, a beacon in the middle holding a lantern? Because um, you can't see... you you At this point in time, you cannot see the light of right. the longhouse. But it, it's light outside, right? Like, yeah. it's not... We can tell where we're going. It is daytime in a blackout thunderstorm. So, okay. how well do you see in the summer thunderstorms? Right. I mean, well, we see better than we deal. would, but right, 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 right. right. Like, it's still yeah. probably dim it, lighting. It, yeah, it's it's very dim lighting. Okay. Almost almost darkness to the I'm point of where when you're really confident, I'm I'm good enough. At yeah, no, no, no. You, your your elf eyes see fine. Yeah. Um, if we need to, daylight can happen. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm gonna stay with the. Um, the horse that's refusing to move and see if I can get coax it with animal handling, I guess. Okay. Okay. All right. So, Calm uh, down or yeah. Motivated. With I'm going to watch and drink Cespedes' beer. <laughs> the thing is you can't tell if it's going down or not. I know. Because much water is coming in. <laughs> um, so, uh, roll, yeah, roll your animal handling, uh, Cespedes, roll your, I'll give Athletics or a straight strength check on this one. Hmm. Athletics is plus seven. That's why I told him to go push. <laughs> uh, Twenty three. Okay. I got a nineteen for animal handle. Okay. Um. It's a good thing you held Cespedes's beer. Uh, Because he does. He just comes right over. He sees the side that's kind of at a weird skew. He gets both hands underneath it. He's able to find like a rock to plant his feet on. And he just lifts it up. And with that, uh, because the horse was still attached to the actual cart, uh, with the cart now evening out, and you do, you calm it. It starts to then also pull the cart forward. Uh, Suspidus kind of does a weird little scoot around the hole. Is able to then set it on... Nice. solid ground because you know he man <laughs> um and uh one of the guards uh looks at sass but just claps him on the shoulder goes oh it's a it's a good thing i loosened that up for you huh <laughs> yeah uh-huh <laughs> uh have you seen the other carts did you all get separated? Uh, the second guard that's less out of breath goes, we ain't seen shit in a day. <laughs> Not since this rainstorm came out. All I can think is space balls. Right. <laughs> we ain't found, <laughs> shit. We ain't found <laughs> shit. Just like we've just been going around in, you know, God's knows circles for all we know. Where did you guys come from? We came from the lodge. We can get you back there. The uh, little lawyer, man, I was like, yes, please, please. I don't, I don't deal well in the elements. <laughs> I, I just I just start laughing and continue drinking Cespedes' beer, um, which is now more than half water, but... <laughs> it was water the whole time. That's fine. <laughs> little did she know. I'm having fun. <laughs> it was water the whole time. <laughs> like an after-school special. <laughs> <laughs> um... Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I guess we might as well try to lead them back. Okay. And yeah, with um the tracking you had and about at the halfway point you do run into Falar who's uh you actually had the the female dwarf uh guard. She's she's right there with you and the, okay. the two of you had grabbed uh 
you know, she's got two shovels, a pick, and some lumber. You've got a shovel and even more and some rope. And you're like, oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I am. Uh, I, I say, what in the hell? We brought a cesspitus. I look over in complete <laughs> and, utter, and, and utter astonishment. You look up to his like, the dragon. Yeah, at, at, he, like halfway up his shins is just mud. Like he looks like he traded his boots for like mud boots. I give the weirdest confused thumbs up. <laughs> it's all the raw bear. <laughs> You know, there are certain communities that goes over really well. In. <laughs> it's the third time that's come up today. <laughs> do you want to scout out and see if anyone else is down the road a little farther? That's I was planning, I wanted thing. to do the same thing where yeah. I was like, as long as we have them, we have a pretty good idea of where the place is now. Um, we should probably go look and see if we can find anybody else nearby. Stay, stay, like you know, in line of sight of the of, of the road as much as we can, and see if anybody is yeah. close to it. On for for you know, I'd be willing to go, you know, another mile or two. Right. I think we can find our way back, and if not, we'll be able to find our way back when the storm stops. Um, having the uh, the the dwarf guard there, she suggests like you know her crew all has hood lanterns they could easily set up like a almost a daisy chain of like so that you don't leave the light yeah that'd be awesome you have a beacon chain yeah okay yeah. if we can organize it yeah see if we can't bring anybody else in yeah um so uh yeah so she gets like you know two more people from her crew and you know each one of them standing as far as you can in order to uh, see the lanterns. You easily have about a half mile of lantern to lantern to lantern, each one covering about a little over, uh, I don't know, uh, probably close to three quarters now, I think, but each one covering a little bit more, like a third of a mile. Huh. Um, yeah, because it's not like we need the light to see, we just need right. to be able to see the light. Yeah, you just need to be able to see the light. Right. Um, and uh, so I will go with because it's all the group and you're all working together uh, I do need the perception and the survival and whoever rolls because you're effectively being assisted uh, can roll with advantage so if you want to sp- someone can do both you can split it up I have plus fives in both I have plus fives in survival but not perception I have a plus seven in perception Okay. Right, so well, then it, looks it sounds like, you're a perception like guy. you two are gonna. You can go ahead and roll. That's fine. Seth. I'm not rolling nothing. Nope. <laughs> nope. Not me. I, Seth I, is there to lift carts. <laughs> I'm happy to assist if you want to ranger and do the survival. Okay. That's better. That is a twenty-five. And then seventeen on survival. Seventeen on survival. Okay. All right. Twenty-five. So. We have three carts that were gone. All right. Odd or even? E- uh, odd. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Somewhere on the wind, you hear this weird amalgamation of noises. It sounds like cracking wood, a trumpet underwater, and a gnome cussing. (laughs) (laughs) So we head that way, huh? Yeah. (laughs) I tell them, I think you hear the gnome over there. Okay. Start pushing everybody. And uh, <laughs> you, you you find her, and I mean, her ass is in the air, her cart's flipped over, <laughs> um, <laughs> and she is, she, she's holding on to the reins, doing everything she can to set it right. She just doesn't have the body mass, though. <laughs> That's funny. 
Uh, yeah, hold my beer. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out a greeting before we get too close so she doesn't freak Great. out. Caravan help, caravan rescue. Yeah. Just swinging like a toddler on monkey bars. Okay. <laughs> Just <laughs> go try to sort out the mess. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you guys do approach, and she finally sees you and immediately just screams and starts kicking um, <laughs> before finally realizing that it's you and just goes, well, don't just sit there. Help. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> Still just holding on because she's a good, like, two feet in the air. That's you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm 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 most like concerning myself with trying to figure out how to get the horse, you know, situated and yeah. Because when when I say like I mean like the ass is up, right? So he the donkey's up here, the cart is below the donkey, right? Right. And it's just like, how did physics do that? <laughs> <laughs> I want to know how Astesmus is going to undo that. <laughs> like I'm, I'm I hear about the spectacle of the of the lifting the last cart. I am yeah. I am preparing for this spectacle that's about to happen with whatever he develops here. Uh, my suggestion would actually be to try to have a couple of us climb up on top of what is now on top of the wagon, try to unhitch yeah. the animal and take it down to the ground, have somebody hold on to it, and then it'll be easier to upright yeah. the cart um, when you're not dealing with the added right. donkey. <laughs> is the donkey distressed or is she it like the donkey's that, freaking the fuck out? It's okay. the donkey's right. in the sky That's as far right. as it goes. <laughs> this, this. this donkey show's about to be great. <laughs> um, uh, I'll go up and try to calm the donkey first to see if we can start the process. All right, oh. nine. You get kicked. <laughs> um, um, let's see some here real quick. So yeah, it'd be like one of these. So. It, 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 it's it's a wayward just out there kick, so it's only like a point of damage. Okay. Like mostly, like it's like it, you like you, you kind of like reach your hand up, like hey buddy, kick. Okay. Like son of a, because it's still a hoof to the hand. But <laughs> um, I'm gonna try to climb up there too. I'm gonna uh, rather than directly trying to call, well, I guess. Oh God. No, I we need we need a couple of strong people up here to just try to hold on to the thing, get it out of the harness, and then get it on the ground, um, and then somebody to hold on to it on the ground. Um, at some point in that process, I want to try to blindfold it to make it less. Okay, um, when do you want to blindfold it? Do you want to blindfold it? When... I want to do it as soon as I can, but if it's flailing around and its head is up here, that might be harder until we get it out of the traces. Okay. So, who wants to get it out of the traces? Does Cespedes just want to try something? Does Fowler just want to try something? <laughs> no. <laughs> and admittedly, I do just want to go up and Mongo on it. <laughs> oh, yes! This is what Fowler's <laughs> waiting for. <laughs> He's just sitting there on the side. Do it, do it. Do yeah, yeah, I'm doing it. I sh but I shouldn't. We don't want to knock out the donkey. Yeah. Oh, God. It's bad luck. Right. So I, I'm like, I don't want to try to do it by myself, but if somebody else who's a little bit, like, I'm not weak, but if somebody else who's a little bit stronger than me wants to help, I'd, yeah, I'll that'd go, be the I'll best go, idea. Yeah, I'll go up and do that. Okay. Okay. Uh, again, restraining the donkey would essentially be a grapple check, which is still an athletics or a strength. Okay. And, um, 17. Can you roll with advantage if I'm helping? Yeah. Just cause I know it's it's a weird circumstance. Yeah. Seventeen. Okay. Cool. Okay. Um, so uh, you, uh, you 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 do you reach up and um, you're able to get a hold of like the harness pretty well and you're able to stop. You know, I'll let you pick front hooves or back hooves. You're able to stop that set, but the other set is still you're just not able to get the whole donkey, and it's still. Is it possible for me to just yank this thing down, or is it really strapped in there? Well, I mean, you could just yank, and it might right the whole cart. I mean, it's kind of what you did last time. It's up to you. It also might I'm break like, the donkey, oh. so. This is also uh, true. It's not my donkey. <laughs> His ass isn't on the line. Oh. Ooh, oh. Nice. Oh, but I'm bumped. 
Yeah, still gonna ma- try to that makes yeah, it jokes. in. <laughs> <laughs> still gonna try to blindfold the donkey. Okay. Um, so you can roll a, a handle animal. Okay. Because that's essentially what you're doing. Right. Throw that's a sack over its head. Just something because if they can't see, they're less likely to freak out. Yeah. It's... <laughs> It kicks me in the fucking face. <laughs> <laughs> it is. What'd you roll? It's a roll the one. Oh, it's, no. It's, uh, it's quasi retra- restrained, and it is also like, you know, it's almost helpless. So yeah, uh, I'm just going to treat it as an attack of opportunity. I make the statement as I got a three. Flying into the air. <laughs> <laughs> that donkey does not like elves. <laughs> I, <laughs> Falar. Anti elfish donkey. Huh. There, okay. there might be repercussions for this, but Falar was waiting to see what happened, and he just witnessed this, and I am muddy as shit because I'm on the ground laughing as <laughs> Fel gets as El gets kicked. Zell actively gets bucked because with uh, oh. with, with Cespedes now kind of like holding like the legs in place, it actually has a place now where because a donkey can leverage. buck now, it's got leverage to kick, and it does, and it it bucks her right off. Uh, you take two points of fall damage effectively. <laughs> it's, fair. All right. it's fair. Yeah, I rolled real low on that one. <laughs> I'm a mess. I'm laughing my ass off. I land and... in the mud next to you. <laughs> All right. Uh, so what? Uh, and you were going to try to just yank yank the knocky down, or? Yep. Yep. I'm also laughing because that sucked, <laughs> but it was also funny, <laughs> and it didn't hurt that badly. All right. Okay, this is just a regular roll, not advantage. So, but still athletics yeah. or strength, whichever you prefer. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Ooh, nice. You do. You yank the donkey down, um, and the whole cart just that's very much just goes. That <laughs> seven really helps. Yeah. yeah. And so the cart nice. does the whole thing. Just like correct, it doesn't necessarily correct itself, but it does just like just comes level, um, and. Uh, the animal is more or less uh, safe, but the the back of the cart is all kinds of fucked up. Oh. Um, it's gonna need some TLC once someone can repair it. Uh, you kind of get the sense that if you all assist the cart, yeah. it can make it back with at least some of the cargo intact. Oof. But the cargo. It smells really fucking bad. And yeah. it smells really Ooh. bad wet. Oof. Any of the supplies I bring, if we do, like, on the spot, is, is any of the stuff that I brought with me on the spot repairs where it'll shorten up our... Like, I'd like, say, you, you didn't could, really have... Well, I mean, you could have gone back, but... Yeah. No, yeah, no, 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 she did. Like, like, yeah, that's yeah, what we, we did. Um, no, like, no, I meant, I meant from from that point... Oh, I just assumed we you made kept it with him. Right, the, yeah, that's what I would have assumed. Uh like you, you kind of brought stuff to replace wheels and axles, mm-hmm. um, and yeah, one of the one of the wheels is uh, is fucked up, and you could probably do a quick patch job uh, on that. Um, but I mean, it's it's just like changing a tire in the rain. So, you know, we'll, I'll I'll let you do a. Um, I would need some kind of check, craft check, um, dex plus wood carving tools if you're proficient with them. Otherwise, it's just a dex check, because that's what most uh, stuff like this would be. I did not. I just rolled a one. Well, you don't auto-fail skill checks. Yeah. So, you know. Okay, so it should be a five. Yeah, you're not quite able to... um, get the pins out to get the bad wheel off. Okay. Just nothing seems to be gripping onto it. Everything's just too too goddamn wet. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's just it's a matter of you, you, you load your um, current ge- repair gear onto it and uh, kind of just scuttle cart it over and um, and it, with uh, with this, it is kind of slow go. Um, the donkey is, I guess, just is. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's so confused and pissed off and doesn't want to be hooked up to this thing anymore. And the same thing is with the gnome. You're not sure who the who's the bigger jackass. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, everything is able to. You are able to make 
it back to the cottage or to the to the lodge nice. with uh, with this group. Cool. And uh, finding your way home with the uh, lanterns is super easy. And as you walk up to one, they you know kind of like pick up and take a shift. And it, it, this is the most uh, ceremony that this donkey or gnome have ever been a part of. <laughs> 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 to the point of when you get like the fourth dwarf with a lantern, they're just like. What's going on? <laughs> uh, and you're able to bring them in. Um, at this point in time, uh, lodging around is a pre- is at an ultimate premium. Uh, so they do unhitch the donkey and kind of bring him over to where the uh, horses were to uh, get him uh, out. But uh, he, he, uh, as soon as he gets unhitched, he's trying to bolt in the... Uh, gnome is wrestling them into place to get him over and uh, just re-tie his lead to to a, to a post so he's not gone. Uh, at which point in time, like the uh, the 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 lawyer and his crew, they're all inside and have taken up a residence and have started cooking. Um, when you guys get back in, most of the poles crew is is out there somewhere. Oh, shit. oh God! <sighs> I mean, uh, the pole and the mouth and like two other guys are still there, but uh, five of them are gone. <laughs> Jeez. I don't know if that's my response. I, I don't think it's mine. I'm warming up in front of a yeah. fire right now, know. like just yeah, I'm getting, wiping the water <laughs> off of all of me. Yeah, I'm getting all the mud off from. Laughing at Zoe. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. <laughs> also, the mud that I fell in. <laughs> yeah. Just stand under one of the the rain. <laughs> just stand by a cutter. Just gutters, like yeah. just use a shower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's gonna be it for us. For, I yeah, know, I I don't I don't know that I care enough. I mean, I yeah. Hmm. They'll find their way back. If they couldn't find their way back with a line of lantern lit dwarves, like I don't know that we're going to be able to go well, find them any yeah. easier. At least just saved two of the three missing carts, right? Right. Like, right. like that's what was out there. Still was yeah. three. Yeah. Yeah. Two out of three ain't bad. Yeah. And the storm <laughs> and the storm is passing, so it's not like they're going to be out here, right? Like yeah. for the entire duration. If they're lost now, we can probably find them later. Right. And between the. Um, uh, first cart and the second cart and then getting them each back you probably spent about three or four hours so you know it's still pretty early in the day yeah. you still have a whole day of dragon chess in front of you I mean well, how's the storm how's the storm progressing it's uh, it, you, you very much get the same feeling like because now that the um rain is coming in at more of an angle and there is some more wind like it is progressing but it's still it's one of those slow rollers over yeah. open fields I mean welcome to a storm in mid fucking Missouri mm-hmm. yeah. yeah uh yeah I think I'm done for most of the day I mean being out in the rain like that for three hours is pretty rough pretty exhausting so Fighting the wind, the rain, uh, an angry donkey, and right. an, you know the mud that I landed in. I I think I'm 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 ready to sit and 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 play cards for a while. Yeah. <laughs> no, no one wants to risk that point of fatigue to go find some yeah. assholes that are. <laughs> no. no, I don't really care. The um, ones he cares about are still here, so yeah. fuck it. <laughs> the, the, the one the one he wants and the one he wants dead. <laughs> yeah, they're both still here. <laughs> I said cares about. I didn't say positive once. or negative. It's fine. <laughs> How do I kill you with him? <laughs> and yeah, how do I make Get him, him kill you? Kill, yeah, that's yeah. the that's the trick. Piss him off. Uh, it's all those bruises on your gut. They seem like they're coming into one big bruise now. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. It's purple, and there's firelight now. It's weird. <laughs> it's, I didn't break a rib. Everything's fine. Yeah. Let's play cards. Yeah, I'll go out and take care of the horses again, make sure they're okay. Yeah, because they didn't actually get taken care of the first time. Right. Oh, feed them. Right. Um, wipe them down. Yeah, you're able to feed them, wipe them down. They're, 
you know, they're they're a little antsy because you know the storm and everything. But I mean, they're sheltered. Right. Make sure their hooves are a little bit dry them off if yeah. you can. Keep them. Yeah, you put you put down some fresh hay for them to stand on. And yeah. Eat. And... I'm gonna check on our cart uh, just to see, you know, how it's faring in all this weather and you know, batting it's, down it's, the hatches a bit. Yeah, it's 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 faring about like a battle wagon. Because um, <laughs> that's pretty much what you guys have. Well, I mean, I want to make sure that whatever goods and stuff we have inside of, I, I imagine things probably not watertight. So, yeah. you know, I just want to just check. Actually, I think that's one of the things you guys requested. Oh, yeah, did. yeah. Did yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, sweet. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> Screw that noise. I'm going to go play chess. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, uh, there's no. I'm surprised you haven't brought out the rum yet. I was thinking about grabbing. <laughs> so I, I was too. Like while he was out there, I was like, you know, while well, you're checking out the cart, <laughs> bring some gin in for everybody. I mean, to be fair, this is like the first time the water seals have actually been tested. Yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah, no, they're they're holding up. Um, like, it's not like humidor dry or anything <laughs> like that. <laughs> but I mean, like. It's uh, you, you almost kind of think to yourself, you know, maybe if I slept out here, I wouldn't have to deal with Cespedes snoring. <laughs> <laughs> you start to wonder about that. <laughs> or, you know, if Cespedes slept out here, <laughs> right. I mean, none of us would have to deal with We've got the cart set up for him to sleep inside yeah. anyway to keep him out of our... Yeah. And if we set up a stove in there, <laughs> we could Wait. actually camp in there, too. Yeah, we could. If we had to goals you know what i will a little tiny just a little yeah, tiny pot belly stove is, well and again the three of us don't actually have to lay down to right. sleep like we can we yep. can cram ourselves in there a lot more comfortably than four people who would have to yeah. you know have beds okay you're gonna turn this more and more into a, just a caravan home it's gonna be, yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. It's about, yeah you're gonna walk in it's gonna have like a pull out chintzy little <laughs> like tea <set>. yep <laughs> entertainment center surround sound right. just paint a periwinkle blue yep a lot of folding cabinetry yep <laughs> <laughs> Oh, There's way more space on the inside. Look, we added this thing where we can push it out and have like a right. whole sunroom. <laughs> They're going to interview us on tiny houses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. The real trick is the plummet. <laughs> <laughs> There's a slot in the wall, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> we use this thing called chambure pate. <laughs> I thought it was just a hole in the floor. <laughs> well, no, because if it was a hole in the floor, then the mud could get in. Well, it started as a crack, but what did you do? <laughs> <laughs> started out with a piss. How did it end up like this? <laughs> okay. All right. So, um, yeah, you're able to check on everything. Everything in there is fine. It seems to be weathering pretty well. And you, most for the most part, you actually did get a pretty good parking spot. So, you know, you got covered and... Uh, you know, your horses and all are right there next to it. So you're able to retrie- retrieve um, how much gin did you want? My God. Yeah, enough to share. Not yeah. enough to get so drunk that I don't remember tomorrow. Yeah, I don't want this to be like our on the road parties. Because when the storm does clear off, we might want to move to actually on. actually be able I to. I guess talk to everybody and see if they want to move on or stay here for the day and night and move on tomorrow. Well, I mean, the storm's still going. Um, if we can, we should try to convince people to hang out for a while, let the roads dry out yep. a little bit. It Let's might be better. And then see if we can't get everybody who's still out in the storm, yeah. give do, them time to get here. Do we want to do anything on mission? Like, we we haven't... <laughs> I keep forgetting. Been schmoozing people. Yeah. Right, I mean, we, we, have, been. we have been. We have been. I, I, I think, again... I don't want to be stepping on DM toes or anything, but like I, I think we're we're probably building a rapport with all the things that we've been yeah. doing um, in some way. I don't know if there's any information leaking out yet. They might be really tight lipped about stuff, but I can't. I think I want to kind of aim to have that happen. Right. Well, so far the groups you've interacted with the most have been the pole and his crew, mm-hmm. who. Uh, they are more than happy to take your money in a game of cards, right. but don't really seem to talk too much about themselves. Um, 
except for like discussing the sexual conquests they've had, fights they've been in, and things they may or may not have killed, and then may or may not have slept with. Um, <clears throat> And then after that, it becomes uh, not in that order. <laughs> right. That that's that was the, the that was the head tilt. Yeah, I was saying, the tilt of your head means stop right there. Zell has questions. <laughs> just just about orders of operations. It's fine. I I know what I said. I know which orders I set them in, and I stick by them. <laughs> <laughs> Zell's walking by a conversation, perks her head, and sits right. Down. That, that's that. That uh, is that reaction in character. It's very much her hand. <laughs> I I lean over and whisper to uh, Keridan, "Don't give them any more soup <laughs> <laughs> or rum or dead or, things." Or yeah, or, this, is, yeah. this is more or less what you've picked up uh, throughout the entire journey, not okay. just here specifically, right? Um, and then, uh, and then the, the next group you've interacted with the most has actually been Falar with the, and, uh, Keridan with the, uh, crew of the, the Red Wizard, who is both mostly just the, you exist. Yes, we yeah. exist. Oh, you like chess? I like chess too. Right. Um, you haven't really interacted too much with, the other groups just because I guess they haven't piqued your interest or anything. Okay. Uh, so far, no one's really let you guys near their carts right. uh, as a, you know, always the, no, we're, we're supposed to be like, cool, we're traveling together. Right. You over there, me over here. Right. All right, then. Screw this shit. I'm going to snoop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out checking my cart. There's other carts. I think I'm going to snoop. Do you let us know before you do this? Nope. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, as a reminder, uh, two people who seem to have been out there the whole time are the two drivers of the Red Wizard's carts. That would be the, my last target because of that. Okay. Yeah. But I mean, like, they're in the stable proper. Uh, and the Red Wizard's carts are pulled right up to it. Okay. So kind of more of like this uh, cover area that would be the equivalent of, like, a dry dock workstation for carts. Okay. Uh, that's where you guys have parked as well as um, the the poles crew and uh, Well, yes, do we need to get the gnome's cart up there so she could do repairs? Or we she's, do repairs? She's, she's got it as close as she can get it. Uh, so, the was, lawyer kind of came in and stole the last spot. Is, is it, Did we gain any kind of insight into what were in the two carts we rescued when we were working with them? Um, for the most part, the lawyer's one was pretty much closed up because it was pretty much a closed covered cart. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, you, you didn't look too far into the gnome's cart because the smell was god awful. Uh, Do we know where that's coming from? It's coming from her cart and she said it's coming specific. from her cargo. Uh, mostly because you guys haven't asked. Uh, like it got to the point where I was, I was, if it hadn't been raining so much, I probably would have had you make a constitution saving throw. Wow. Okay. It is god awful. There's a reason she's at the end of the line all the time. Okay. I'm going to check that out first. Because, I mean, because it's things like, you know, in disrepair, it's probably easy, easier for me to figure out what that is. Um, and as, as I check some of these cards out here, I'm going to, you know, kind of find the easy targets. You know, like for instance, if if the lawyer's cart's all locked up, I'll I'll check that, but not get too into it, and see if I can basically get get um get some basic information the easiest way first. And if I have to dig farther, I'll I'll go I'll, I'll do that as we need to. Am I crazy, or at some point did somebody say something about her being uh, a tanner or dealing with skins? What was that? That sounds familiar. Yeah, it does sound familiar. Um, no, you're not crazy. And uh, Was that the dwarf? It, there, the was dwarf's that? card. Okay, okay. That was the dwarf's... Uh, not her specifically, but her merchant right. dealt with furs and pelts. That's okay. So it, 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 it okay. could be likely that the smell's coming from... That's, uh, that was the only thing that I was... Carrying chemicals and stuff yeah. like that, possibly. Okay. Yeah, that's but, what, uh, that's what, but that's a different cart. That's a different cart. Yeah, gnome, yeah. Okay. Uh, her cart that, was mostly intact and... Yeah. But uh, she's got an open cart, so it had like a like it's not a open open. I mean like it had like a tarp over the top of it, but okay. I mean yeah, you could walk up and 
What are you? Okay. <laughs> and if the 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 thang, thang guards are are basically in the stable, it's not like they're keeping watch over right. everything. Yeah, it's I'm not the guards; it's just the drivers. It's the, right. Well, I bet the, okay, and the but, drivers probably could care less what's going on. And again, the they're not really like in a position to be watching all of the carts that are parked outside. Well, and b- before we lose some of this uh, cover of rain, yeah. and you know, and I'm, I'm going to see what I yeah, and see what I can figure out here. Be stealthy about it as, as much as I can. Fine, if you want to, you know, go on mission, whatever. You know. I thought we were having fun playing chess. <laughs> <laughs> we were. Now I'm bored and, and curious. And, uh, uh, yeah, I'm just giving curiosity you killed the. Oh, and I guess wait, while wait. he's doing this, I'm just doing what I was going to do anyway, and start talking to everybody in the house to see if we're going to stay here another night. See if people are going to catch up. Should we make food for everybody? Should we bring in drinks for everybody? Or are we planning on leaving as soon as it dry, uh, stops? Just go around and take a tally of what everybody's thinking. Okay. I'm going uh, to take another walk down to the to the uh, larder. <laughs> okay. We're going to deal with this in orders of stuff. Okay. Uh, I will eventually go that direction to talk to the captain or whatever. So. Yep. All right. So um, first is uh, Fowler. Um, okay. Let me know what you want to invest. Who, who do you want to investigate first? So you've got the lawyer's cart, you've got the gnome's cart, you've got the dwarf guards uh, tanner cart. Um, and the lawyer's cart's pretty buttoned up, and I I'm curious about like all this information that that, that he's moving. Okay, I want to check that out first. You want to check that out first. So, right. and, but there's no one at it, right? Currently, not that you know of. Okay. I mean, I, I want to check that. I want to yeah. see if anybody's around. I, I, I'm totally snooping here, I, and, and I want to be quiet about it. Yeah. Um, so I guess first things first should be roll a stealth check. So we're just missing cart four, right? Yes. Okay. And that was the unlucky gnome. Uh, that would be a 12. Base players. 12? Okay. Now roll me a uh, perception. Because this is perceiving if there's a guard or anything like that. Or uh, eleven, eleven. Coast looks clear. Okay. Um. Okay. So yeah, I guess I'm gonna go. Uh, what in, like an investigation check on the card or yeah. Eight. Be with you in just a second, checking out a few things real quick. Now, this investigation that I'm doing, it's, you know, on the minor scale. I don't want to go be super intrusive to it Yeah, Like, I want to see if there's any easy information. Right. Okay, so here we go. And what was your stealth? Um, shit. I think it was, uh... Four... four no, it wasn't that high. I think it was only, like, a, a 12. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so you're, uh... <clears throat> so you're going through, and you're, you're uh... You, you come to it, and you're... And for the most part, like it, it, it's like it's it's a just a cloth covered wagon, but it has an actual wooden door fixed to it. Um, and uh, you go, you reach up and you try uh, the handle, and it is in fact locked. Uh, you kind of go around to the front, and you see that it also has another door up there. Try it; it's also 
locked. Um, so if you want to, so uh, conventional ways are blocked. You can try to pick the lock if you got some thieves tools. It is just a canvas cart if you want to try cutting into it. It's all, you know, the canvas is all sealed pretty tight. Nothing, no other ways to see inside. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, now that, that's all I want to do with this card at the moment. Okay. Um, if anyone else wants to, yeah. to do a turn. So uh, we're going to go and we're going to give you your round of right. uh, discussion. Um, you have uh, obviously your two existing groups. Right. One which is down to the pole, mouth, and two other guys. Right. It's about half strength. And then there is uh, Dwarf Guard and her group. And then there's the lawyer and his two guys right. and the gnome. Uh, and just take a tally of who wants to leave as soon as the rain lets up or we wait another day for it to dry out and people to catch up. Okay. Um, initially, uh, it's split cart and cart. The two that just showed up are, we need to rest and right. wait. We Because they spent all day right. and all night out there. They are super fatigued, them and their animals. Right. Uh, the other two vote, you know, like we've got deadlines to keep. We need to get moving. Um, they Who's seem that the, wi- the wizards, which seem doesn't seem to be, um, they, they, they're not present for the vote. They're all back in the larder. Right. Um, but with the room at large, okay. you seem to be the one uh, of the, of the five carts or the five teams that are in this room um you're the only one not picking an immediate side of go or stay Mm -hmm. and it's the ones that have been there have all been like let's fucking go we've been here where the other ones are right we gotta stay right okay all right uh i guess when sesimus wants to go to larder i'll go with him and talk to the captain okay all right so uh you guys go to the larder um Suspidus, if you wanted to go ahead while he's having that immediate discussion, I'll let you do that. If you want to, like, same time go with him, because this is a... Uh, what were you doing in this first couple minutes? I think I already made my way down there. Okay, you're making your way downtown. So, go ahead and... Uh, so, uh, you um, roll on up, and uh, standing out in front of this time, it's the other guard. So it's not the captain. It's not the shotgun. It's the writer. <clears throat> I'm just going to try to walk through the door. Uh, as you approach, you know, he, when you, when you get within like 10 feet, he holds up his hand, like in a, he, not, not saying anything, but in a clear manner of stop. Uh, huh. Do you keep walking? Uh, Yes. Okay, you get within five feet, and he actually, like, says, you know, this is the first time you hear him speak, and he says, stop. I know you know the drill. What do you need? We need provisions to take along for the rest of the trip. I'm going to get them. Tell me what you need. I will go inside and get them for you. Give me a list of what you have. Uh, with that, he has to stop and think for a moment. His hand kind of lowers a little bit. He's like, I know there's a few sacks of grain, uh, a couple tools, a few spices. I mean, not, not much beyond that, man. And then... Keridin shows up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and you and you kind of you don't you, you don't hear his first question or anything like that, but you do hear this guy list off a you know a few meager supplies, which is about what you saw on the other one. I think in the other you know on you you, know, you didn't really see anything that would be long lasting right. like meats or I mean not right. you, that weren't super long lasting like you didn't see any meats. Um, right. I mean, like there no potatoes or anything like that. Oh, right. Those would all rot to frequently okay uh we're taking a tally of who's going to leave as soon as the rain clears or 
who's going to stay and see if the other cart shows up and wait for the roads to dry. Uh, roll a persuasion check. I mean, I know it's just a statement of facts, but how does he... Let's see what persuasion is. Uh, 11. Okay. Uh, guard turns to you and says, I'll uh, have to consult with my master. I will be sure to let you know what he says. Okay. Okay. Um, otherwise, do you need anything from within? We'll take the grain. What are we gonna do with grain? You don't even uh, need grain. Trade it. Do you know what? Do you know what grain is? <laughs> uh, seems like it's worth something. <laughs> uh, I do list off things I'll need f- to cook for the night, for tonight. Okay. Uh, and he he does he brings you up some. Dried. He goes inside, brings up some uh, dried herbs, small sack of rice, um, and that's mostly what's in there. Okay. A few spices. Uh, he lets you know it's like uh, I have uh, conveyed to the master, and uh, when I know, I will let you know. Okay. Uh, we're gonna have gin and stew again, so. Because we're planning on staying until everyone shows up. Kind of gives a nod. Go back up top. All right. For a second, I thought you were listening to music because I saw your phone <laughs> out. And I just, just where the where the, where the headphone line was going. I'm like, dude. <laughs> uh, I want to make an announcement to everybody that uh, we're going to go ahead and stay until the other gr- group shows up. And we're going to make some more food and bring some drinks in and enjoy the rest of this crappy weather uh the dwarf guard her, uh she chimes up like don't feel like looking up her name uh and she goes what if they don't show up you're on day two of them being out in this wilderness alone these ones were lucky yeah they were close by but i saw the state of that of you know the gnome's cart yeah if we, hadn't, if we hadn't found him when we did, she'd and her donkey be dead. Yeah. The roads are mucky right now, and uh, if you want to get stuck... We're not going to leave now with it raining, but it's like once the rain lets up. Okay. It's up to you. Yeah, the, uh, her, her brake pump is the why wait for dead people. Wait for the weather. That makes sense. I mean, uh, and when she asks, like, why wait for dead people, uh, Mouth speaks up, well, it is the fields of the dead. They may show up anyways. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And do you really want to be stuck on muddy roads while uh, the they come after you yeah. is the thing. You're as likely to get mired after the storm if you don't wait long right. enough for the ground to dry out a little bit as you are in the middle of it. Speaking of dead, where are your other five guys, Mouth? He just kind of scowls at you. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, speaking of master Zen, of tact. I know. <laughs> that was awesome. I got. I got. It's just. Okay. Um, didn't we help her get her cart here? Wasn't she one of those that we helped? Like, you guys stayed together. You didn't really track. like help help each other. Okay. Uh, but anyway, so uh, Falar. Uh, Who's the next person you want to go to? Or next I'm cart? gonna go investigate the stinky cart. The stinky cart? <laughs> okay. So I guess a, a stealth check? Uh no, I'm just gonna st- stick with your original one because it's kinda like the whole thing, but it's, uh, just this will, this will just be an investigation. Okay. <laughs> Eight. Eight? Okay. Um this one is a lot easier to get into because it is just a simple matter of untie a hitch here, untie a hitch here, unfurl. And um, you uh, it's it's just covered in shit. Just 
a whole wagon of shit. And I don't mean like shit as in stuff. I mean shit. Literal shit. Yeah. I investigate no further this card. Uh, tie it back up as I found it, shake my head, and move to the next card. Okay. Uh, roll me another perception real quick. Wow. Uh, six. Okay. Oof. Okay. So, um, we're going to flash back inside. Um, Mouth is icing his burn. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the pole... He's, like, moved in his sleep, but he's pretty much slept through this whole thing. Yeah. Well, I'm going to start cooking. And I'd say bring in a small cask of gin. I'll go fetch it. Okay. Yeah, you have your serving cask for your barrel of no. gin. Yeah. Um, <laughs> or a couple empty... Uh, wine bottles or whatever we have gin bottles i'm sure we have at one least thing several I, was, gin I was picturing is like one of those like old milk crates milkman, yeah. <laughs> milkman crates you just kind of like lower that in <laughs> let the bottles fill pull it out and then go serve it like a six pack <laughs> all right yeah uh and use whatever deer meat or whatever we have and just start cooking away while Should i'm I out there you? i asked fowler if he's found anything in a subtle manner like, I don't shout across the... <laughs> <laughs> hey, Snooper! <laughs> <laughs> but I, I notice what he... Wait, do I notice what he's doing? Oh, I thought he said he in, told in you. He, did. he probably no, did. I, I, I did not no, he, he specifically said he didn't tell us. I actually might not notice you. Uh, Never mind. Hang on. I'm trying not to be noticed. <laughs> uh, well, I'm going to take my time and make this with whatever we have. Survival again? Yeah. I don't know. Does an oh, eight find him? No. All right, cool. I, I fetched from Jin and I go back inside. <laughs> and I, 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 I didn't you, think so. <laughs> I know you weren't being uh, stealthy, but what is your dex out of curiosity? On a different page is what it is. <laughs> Not dex score, just ability mod. Plus three. Plus three. Neither of you are aware that you're there <laughs> because of your, your where, where your perception, your last perception you rolled was. You kind of like, oh, what would be her passive stealth? Oh, it would be roughly this. No, that's <laughs> talking to me. Just cool. I'm caught up in my task. Just, Still shaking my head, wondering what the. F I was going to ask a question, but that's cool, and, and I don't know that it's a question to ask. So I go back inside with some gin. Solar is almost she's about walking to up, looks over. You've been down to look in the cart, and she looks around and goes back and. <laughs> Yeah. Same as soon as she turns around, I pop back up. <laughs> she bends right. down. You look over. <laughs> I tell you though, Falar is shaking his head right now. He, he he might be done checking cards. Period. Because he, I, I cannot figure out why someone would haul shit from one town to another. That was actually what I was going to ask questions about, but I don't know to ask, so screw it. I am going to continue looking at cards, apparently. I'm going to let the device decide that. <laughs> All right. I um, shake it off and... So, uh, what, what, did, what did you... 16. 16? It's still really good. Like, because you got to remember, you have a full kitchen to work with. Yeah. So there's always there's already the innate bonus of that, and then you just put, you know... So, yeah. Here... Okay. You, you make it. The only reason it's not as good is because this meat isn't as fresh as the stuff you used yesterday. Yeah. It's because you're really now getting down into the, the nitty gritty of what you got left. Yeah. We need to get something. I mean, you tried to hunt a deer and then, you know, an, an undead ogre bit oh, it. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you decided. That. I didn't want nah. that deer. <laughs> Cespedes ate some of that deer. Yeah, Cespedes was, was all right. But it, was good. it was good. He's got dragon you tummy. You have stupid <laughs> taste buds. Dragon squirts. <laughs> Roar! <laughs> Lighting out of one inch shit out of the other. <laughs> I saw this thing earlier today. <laughs> 
Was it lightning and shit? No. I, was, I just wanted to know if your ass crackles. I mean. <laughs> Well, it's not bad. Thunder shorts. <laughs> it's impossible for him to, you know, have silent ones. Yeah. <laughs> Little blue light. I will be reusing thunder shorts. <laughs> but it was, no, so it was thunder shirt, Does it automatically catch on fire like an explosion? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Anyway, so I, I saw this thing online, and it was a six-year-old. Do dragons fart fire? Oh. I saw that. <laughs> Me. I don't know. Six-year-old. I thought you went to college. <laughs> <laughs> so just uh, when we were started going down the path of thunder sharding, <laughs> it's like, God damn it. <laughs> this, this was today. <laughs> All right. So um, you've got the... Uh, the wizard's carriage and cart, and you have the poles, uh, cart, and the tanner's cart, right? Oh yes, in the tanner's cart. Yeah, you got that. Okay. Too. Um, I'm gonna go check out the tanner's cart. Okay. Um, <clears throat> this one uh is a lot more uh box like. Um, like the, the bottom of it is like one of those, like, it, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a lowered, like the, the bottom of it is lowered to a point and it's all kind of like boxed up to about shoulder height. And then there is an actual like, uh, covered wagon portion on top of that. Okay. Um, and you are in this one, you are able to actually just like peek right inside and you do, and you see, um, just a whole bunch of furs uh, stacked up on top of it. Um, but you're not able to see too far down, but everything does look very, you know, much like uh, tightly packed furs. Okay. Um, nothing. And that, that's without rooting around. Like, that's what you're able to just surface level C. Okay. But I could probably <clears throat> get in there and root around fairly easily. Yeah. I mean, it's. Uh, it, it's open, but not like. Yeah. Exposed. Right. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to kind of get in there and shuffle around a little bit. Okay. Uh, yeah, so you get in there. Uh, roll me in investigation. 16. Okay. So um, you uh, climb up on top, and as you do, um, or you climb up and in, and as you do, you realize that that whole boxed area, the vast majority of it, you're standing on top of. Um like a, so it's almost like a hidden compartment under me or something, right? And when you almost and you mostly get that because it's like, if this much is what you see, you maybe come down about that far. So like this is hmm. the area you're standing on. Um, and it's pretty obvious. So you don't think that this is like a smuggler's thing or anything like that, but it's definitely a sectioned cart. Um, and the first sixteen, you kind of go and you move through. And you do find, uh, you know, like all these furs are bundled and a lot of them do have like a little tag uh, on them. Um, and they do all kind of seem to be in similar, similar tags seem to be in like roughly the same section of cart. Um, you're not quite sure what the tags mean, uh, but you do find towards uh, the middle of the cart, there is... Um, a uh, uh, a hinge as you kind of go and you follow it um, you realize that there's two sets of like trap doors that would open up uh, so short of and you kind of get the sense that short of going through and either removing all the furs and then putting them back in the correct spots or going through some weird stackings and possibly mixing it up um it's going to be kind of difficult to open these without it's, 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 it's going to be near impossible to open either set of trap door up without disturbing the order. That's okay. Up here. I do not want to get that invasive yet. Yeah. No, just, I so far, just a kind of a cursory. Yeah. Look. Yeah. And like I said, you were able to get up, you're able to find the seams. Um, the, uh, 
these uh, trap doors, you know, they are locked. Um, but I mean, like, it's a simple padlock. Um, <clears throat> and other than that, I mean, like, it's it's furs, and you're 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 essentially in a big ball pit at this point. Just a oh ball pit of furs. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Think about like think of like a ball pit of stuffed animals. Right, as long as the you know the lice are all dead. Yeah. Yeah. Or the fleas, mm-hmm. or anything else that might be on them. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, I think you know after after getting that cursory look at, at that stuff and seeing that there's those trap doors but not getting into them. Um, any anything else that I can gain from from that role, or is I does that get a pretty good description of what's going on with the whole cart? Yeah, you got you've um I would say of each cart that you've investigated, you have found the most discrete points of entry to mm-hmm. the uh, anything that could be hidden, but you have not uh, gone past like 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 with the with you know you didn't go digging around in the shit. Mm-hmm. Um, and, yeah, no, no, I did not. And so you, know, that's not all churned up. Uh, you didn't um, uh, open up the. You, you, you didn't. Uh, the The easiest way would have been to cut into mm-hmm. the uh, lawyer's uh, canvas, and you didn't do that. But you have recognized, like, oh, there's a there's a padlock door over here. There's a padlock door over here. Okay, and uh, same thing with the. Uh, Furs, you realize, like, oh, okay, the padlocks are on the inside underneath the furs, um, and they're not super hidden. It's kind of obvious that there is something there. Um, gotcha. <clears throat> okay, well, I'm gonna leave that cart then. And uh, uh, I think the only other cart that's not really guarded at this point is the poles cart, right? Correct. Okay, I'm gonna take a cursory look at that one. Okay, um, and uh, this one, um, has very much a similar setup to the fur cart only um, the uh, uh, the the top of it while it does have furs and it does have a cover uh, you've seen this as like on the long halls the full the pole and his men will either sit or sleep here so that's more transport uh and um, roll me a quick investigation, because knowing that, you kind of go and you kind of look at... Um, 11. 11? Okay. Um, this one also wasn't really too hard to find. You start to think, you're like, okay, so if I get up in here, and then it'll be... And you put your hand down, and you're like, or the lock's right here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, this one, it seems to like have like a back loader. Um, and this one also has uh, two... Uh, it, 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 it's it's one kind of like tailgate, but it's got two padlocks uh, holding it closed. So okay. whatever this is, this is a uh, th- this all loaded from the back. So it has a couple secure locations um, that are locked up. It, it, it's it's got the one like one. I said, it's one long tailgate, but it's got two padlocks left and right. Gotcha. So it's almost like if one failed, they got the other one. Okay. Okay, that's and kinda... like we're we're talking like it's got like a good uh, two and a half foot to almost three foot, like that. That's how deep the bed is. Okay, so it really is like a truck bed that's completely covered. Okay, yeah, that's. I don't want to get more invasive than that yet. Um, so at, at this point, I'm going to uh, go back and and um. See if I can get uh, Keridan secluded enough where I could tell him what I found. Okay. Which was not much of anything, but, you know, tell him, you know, everybody has their secrets here. Um, I didn't want to go snooping any, you know, too deep into stuff. But if, if we want to get a look at anything that these guys are doing later on, this is where information may be. You didn't want to get too deep into the shit? Not too deep into the shit. No, the shit cart is someone else's. <laughs> Completely. I'm not touching it again. <laughs> there's something hiding That's in that kind of what I'm... And I, and I think you should check that out. 
<laughs> with, I'm not doing with it. your teeth. But I want to <laughs> know what kind of shit it is. That's what I was going to ask. Too. Yeah. Is it human if he or has, is it, if he is has it like bat shit? It like in the literal sense. I did not. <laughs> I didn't get that deep into that shit. Okay. <laughs> like, could somebody be hauling a load of fertilizer or right. what? Right. Okay. Or just, you know, man eating grubs that eat poop. I don't know. Like, I. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know either. As soon as I realized it was actual shit, I closed it up. And... <laughs> shit. <laughs> Cover. No. And it's not. Well, I guess it. If it was fertilizer and got wet, it could seem like shit, I guess. But if it was covered, it shouldn't be getting too wet. Yeah. Like the outside would be wet. Yeah. Edges. I don't know. Keep cooking. All right. Uh, so, yeah, when you, you come inside, uh, Falar, and at this point in time, I mean, you, these were kind of a, kind of quick checks. Um, you're in the throes of cooking. Okay. Um, and uh, while it's mo- it's just your group around your table, everyone does kind of look up and over like, so when's dinner going to be ready? <laughs> you know, one of those kind of things. Mm-hmm. Um, the uh, the gnome uh, has uh, taken up her spot at the other end of the table that the uh, captain, the guards were using because they had one end, she and she's just taking the other. And she has uh, sprawled herself out with her own bottle of wine and is <laughs> drink sleeping herself. Nice. Um, and uh, the uh, the lawyer is uh, attempting to dry some of his uh, scroll casings and papers and books over by the fire. Um, his uh, his two guards seem to be assisting him. Uh, everyone else is just twiddling thumbs, waiting on dinner. Okay. Start the gin now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pre-dinner drinks. <laughs> Pre-dinner drinks, a little bit of cards, and uh, you know, then it, I'm not doing anything else. Yeah. Right. See if there's mint or something that was down on the larder. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you go back. Uh, room check the larder it's uh the same guard as before you ask for mint and uh he goes oh knocks on the door shotgun's head pops up mint shotgun's head disappears back inside (laughs) it's about five minutes comes out shakes its head oh no spearmint no regular mint, no nothing mint. Winter mint, peppermint. Yep. Mint condition. Yeah. Um. <laughs> All right. Fine. No printing of money. <laughs> Head back. They don't have any mint. What kind of larder are they keeping? I don't know. <laughs> like just stirring. <laughs> Everyone's just like, uh, like uh, everyone's like listening to what you said, like. There's like there's like one guy who's like yeah I can't believe you I was like fuck you don't know what he's talking about <laughs> uh, I, I most I'm, certainly do I'm stirring I turn around is any is any of the is there any mint in any of the carts we just need a, a little a small bunch dried is just fine dried's fine too yeah yeah no it's like everyone's really? just like look at me stupidly yeah, mm-hmm. thanks <laughs> <laughs> fine <laughs> stirring <laughs> I need some gin then. <laughs> <laughs> Cask. <laughs> I'm like, here, take this. I'll go refill the other one. <laughs> she just uses this excuse to go outside and get more gin. Yep. <laughs> like, one for you, one for me, one for me, one for you, one for me, one for me, one for you. Put a little gin in the stew. <laughs> Pass it around, everybody. Just a gin a bit. Ooh. Gin it more. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Putting Jane in it. All right. Any music or anything, or? I mean, yeah. It's, it's I hadn't thought about that. Yeah, as long as we're bored and you're cooking, I can pull out uh, my pipes and play. Okay, Maybe at least semi hospitable. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, charisma plus 
uh, uh, proficiency. I kept wanting to say profession. Uh, Performance? Well, if you have performance, it would be the same thing. So so here, here's the difference proficient. what I found out about tools. Right. Um, if you're proficient in the tool and you have the tool, you can always do whatever it is to play that. Okay. Or perform with it or use it. Um, performance, like if you're proficient in performance, it's all performances, be it storytelling, be it. Right. And you can do, all, and like, like if you're proficient in perform, then you can do dances and stuff. Right. Where if... Or, you know, do a stand-up joke set or sing or something like that. Whereas, like, oh, if you're proficient in an instrument, you're like, I can do this okay. and nothing else. Tides of Chaos. That time, I, I rolled the three the first time. And then I remember that I could do that. So, um, I, I actually got a 19. Okay, nice. yeah. Um, I, I, I start playing and then, like, hold up my pipes and go... And a bunch of water pours out of them. Water. <laughs> and then I try it again. <laughs> now, uh, now that the pipes are gin-free, <laughs> it's, uh, they, they sound a lot better. Yeah. And you, know, you do. You start to play a little bit of a spirited tune, and people start to bob their heads, you know, clap and bang. Um, it's, it's, it's very, um, you know, chip the glasses, crack the plates. Uh, mm-hmm. And uh, by the time the song has reached what could only be considered a logical conclusion, dinner is ready and served on up. Uh, and as soon as dinner is served and the pot is empty, no one gives a fuck about you anymore. <laughs> so this would be your time to uh, pull them over to a side. Um, where the, the, the lodge has become pretty full now. So even retreating into your corner... You're still maybe only 15, 20 feet away from the right. closest non-party ear. I, I may actually just wait until you're on, like we're changing the guard or something like that, and we're kind of isolated. Okay. I do not want to let anybody know. You, you don't want people to know you were snooping through their shit? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> not really. Okay. Because I'm, I'm, I'm not doing this as, as a a callous thing it's more just you know trying to be on mission trying to do as we're tasked oh no no i am right there with you uh i I, like i was giving you trouble just because no no, this goes back to what i was talking about like when um when i actually got to play over the weekend uh i was so excited to finally get to play that all i could think about was like staying on mission so like everybody else was going (laughs) off and doing these other like elaborate character things meanwhile i'm drugging a guy so that way i can yeah. get his pass codes so. well I'm, my point is i'm just i'm not like thieving or anything like that like yeah, I'm no. just trying to find information about where these people are going what their tasks are yeah. find out if they're cultists you know right and, well, I mean, and like, yeah and so. and no this is i was just like and and it's great that you're doing that because it like in character like oh wait talking to people and finding out information from People, I don't know how to do that. Somebody else can deal with that. So I like would rather forget about it than like if I have set like we've had set goals before, and if it involves physically going and doing something, I'm great at that. Not so much with the actually like driven socialization. Right, and um, I mean like no, no, no. This all works out. There's, there's no actual animosity. Like, how dare you try to get this game back on its rails? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see if we can't uh, wrap some more up here in the next uh, 30 or so minutes. Um, As the evening goes on, uh, several members of, um, or some members of the uh, Poles gang do seem to come back in. And by some, I mean a whopping one finds his way back. Wow. (laughs) Uh, he is just covered in mud and breathing heavy. I clap him on the back as he walks in the door and hand him a gin. <laughs> it is the wettest, muddiest, I'm most aware. uncomfortable hug Which is- <laughs> you've ever received. Oh. Ooh, and shitty. while embraced, he starts to drink the gin. <laughs> He's not letting go anytime soon. I've just him so on you the head. Know. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> like, yeah. It's 
just this blubbering, uh, you know, just fat human. Just <laughs> like, they're there. They're there. That's pretty much. They're there. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much that, yes. <laughs> Weirdly, less uncomfortable than the the pregnant mother trying to hug. What do you mean try? She got you. <laughs> I thought I dodged, but okay. You tried. <laughs> I remember. I, I'll, I'll go back and re-listen, but I, I, the way I remember it, I do remember you trying to dodge, and I remember oh, Kirby there, there getting were, a hold of there you. There were two instances. I dodged one. I oh, okay. didn't dodge the other one. I don't remember which was which, but yes. Right, because the second yeah. time she had her baby, and she was yeah. focused on that, but the first yeah. time, I think yeah. like she just, you know. Right, yeah. This less uncomfortable for me. Weirdly. You're like, well, technically nature's involved. <laughs> somehow less weirded out by this. I don't know. Okay. She broke you. She got you used to it. <laughs> I think it's, this is just clear. This is not the same kind of weird family that I don't understand. Um, yeah, so you all, uh, so uh, night goes on. You're able to hit into your... Um, uh, your watches. Um, the gnome does just drink herself to sleep and just stays sprawled out on the table. Um, the lawyer and his crew both opt that uh, there's enough people awake and they all go to sleep. So you've got um, in the room, you have uh, the guy who wasn't out for a full goddamn day in the rain. Uh, that the guy who was out for that, he's passed out, but everyone else, he and the pole pass out the whole time. Everyone else seems to work out a shift. Um, I go take another rain shower. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then the, uh, uh, the dwarf crew, uh, works out a rotation. So you guys are taking, so you, you normally take shift three. Yeah. And it's going to be on that handover that you're going to talk to him. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. Um, so on uh, shift uh, one. Is that mine? Yeah. Yeah, I think okay. so. Um, mouth is up and looking around, and He's not really going anywhere, not really doing anything, but he's just kind of giving your uh, your end of the uh, the court a real stink eye, as long as he can be awake. And then <laughs> I'm meditating for this. It's all yeah. good. I, I do the thing where I'm like, <laughs> he does. He's just like, I, I don't say anything. I'm just like, no, okay, cool. He's just doing this, just <laughs> <laughs> a little serpentine head bob up and just rolling his shoulders like he he's he's thinking of all the things to say to you guys and yeah that that would totally get it to them and just just exuding that level of douche i just i just watch him for a while and nod along like yeah okay i can see where you're going with that like you're having a whole conversation with him He's like he's like from across the room without saying. It's, it's this Jedi yeah. level mind manipulation. Yeah. Going She's like on. nodding, like uh huh. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh okay. Yeah. He's like you son of a bitch. All right. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. With a tuning fork. Yeah. yeah. Oh okay. <laughs> um, Thumbs up. <laughs> there, finger, there, there are more than one out. finger guns. Yeah. yeah. Hey. <laughs> you got it. So. um uh, and then um, second shift comes in and on yours. He's still up, but the swing has st- slowed down. Just he's just he's trying to stay awake, <laughs> just just trying. And finally, about like a third of the way into the second shift, he just goes, "Fuck it, you're on watch now!" <laughs> and just slaps the guy who's like, ah, wh- "What?" You're on watch. Bam. The other guy just kind of gets up and is like, shrugs his shoulders, just kind of sits up, just kind of kicks back and just like watches. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
practices his juggling. Yep. Who knew? <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea he was such an amazing interpretive dancer. <laughs> All of the visual spectacles you are about to behold. <laughs> but he can only dance when no one is watching. I know. <laughs> It's kind of like Mystery Men, the kid, the kid who can only be invisible when no one, when no one can see him. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. So, um, you know, your shift court comes to the end. Uh, you go to wake up or bring in Keridin. Um And uh, about uh, this time, um, the rain... And throughout the course of your shift, the rain has slowed and slowed, and you can still kind of hear a few, but they're uh, starting to space even further and further out. So you believe that throughout the course of the overnight, the storm has passed. Okay. By the time you wake up, like, the dripping you hear is most likely just the last little remnants that are on gutters. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to go over and, again, try to find the most isolated spot that I can. Maybe we should go out and check on the horses. Yeah, we go out and check on the horses, make sure no one's around, and I'm going to... Right. I mean, I don't really have a lot of information to give them, but, you know, the shit cart, the hidden compartments, or, or, or not, you know Shipping what I mean? Shipping compartments. Um, you know, give them the locations of places where information might be had. Yeah. No dragon marks, no marks of Tiamat or anything? Not that I found. Okay. Um, shit cart. Roll a quick shit cart. Stealth. Qu- roll a quick stealth, just because you know it's like you are trying to be quiet uh, and a little bit hidden. Thirteen. Yeah, thirteen. Okay. Um, plus five stuff. Yes, yeah, so you pull yeah. them up and you kind of like, you know, you, you guys go over to the horses and you pull out some brushes and, you know, because it's still you know it's an hour or two before dawn. This yeah. is normally when the horses would probably start to get up, and so you like. You brush them out, you water them, you pick some uh, mud out. And during and throughout all of this little maintenance work on the horses, that's where you, conv- you convey all of the uh, information that you've seen. Yeah. Um, where in each cart, um, in the locks you've seen. Um, yeah. How dare you? <laughs> uh, roll me a perception real quick because you guys have dark vision right yes yeah. okay because it is technically dark that is a 22 I believe I have an yes eight. 22 okay as you're um, clearing some of the gunk out of the uh, the horseshoes um, you notice these um, little black tufts and they seem to be uh, spread out over the uh, pretty much everything um, on the ground. Everything on the ground. Right. Um, Was this something we saw on the side of the cart? The shit cart? Uh, we flipped it over? It was the lawyer's cart, not the shit cart. Yeah, the lawyer's oh. cart. And looks similar, but not the exact same. Like, that was, that was clearly some kind of... Um, Moss. Moss. This is more like tiny little mushroom heads. Oh. That's the up to him. What does this look like to you? What is this? Dig them out from the horse's hooves and the, yeah, they're, they're, I mean, like, you, you notice they're like on the ground and not just on the horse's hooves. So oh. roll me a Does it look like everything's sprouting. All like a knowledge in nature. Yeah, knowledge, mm-hmm. nature. Oh, natural 20. Nice. Uh, 22 is the total. Okay. Um, you, uh, you, you do, you know this, um, let's see, you, you, you know this stuff, um, you, uh, you know that they're, um, not poisonous, but you do know that these spores grow um, very quickly and do uh, give off a uh, like a, like a screaming sound. 
Um, they're actually called tiny shriekers. Oh. Um, but you do know that they grow very quickly. Uh, most likely their spores came in on the back end of the... Uh, they're not poisonous, but at the same point in time, they're not really consumable. Like, they're not right. healthy for you to eat. It'd be like eating... I don't want to say like eating water, but it's like water where you get nothing out of it. Mm-hmm. You, it's like something you could trick your belly into being like, oh, look, I've got food in me, so right. don't starve. But you're not getting the calories you need. Right. And they would taste awful because of the smell. Um, but not poisonous. So these things would cover the entire area when we're ready to leave? Is that what's going to happen? Yeah. Um, easily over the next few hours, they will grow and probably get up to like roughly foot, foot and a half wow. total mushroom. That includes the cap and stalk and what would be down in the roots before they finally uh, burst. And it's in that burst that they then oh. send their spores further. Shit. How do we interrupt all this? If everything's wet, fire? Crackling Watches. ass. <laughs> <laughs> Thunder, Thunder sharks. sharks. <laughs> um, you, you know that the uh, they're, they're they're nothing. I mean, like the horses can walk over them, and you'll be fine. Um, what is it going to draw attention to us? The well, it's it's not just you. It's like it, as you look out, it's over the whole field and yeah. road, and so it's almost a natural phenomenon or something that kind of comes in waves or something like that. Right. Huh. Okay. Just yeah. Wait a wait a. I, we we destroy the uh, the mysticism that was <laughs> supposed to be brought on by this. Yeah. Damn you and your <laughs> random numbers. Yeah. <laughs> in, in my in my worldly travels, I've seen this before. It's not much to worry about. Okay. Should we clear the area around where the horses are and stuff so they don't breathe any of this in? Or it, it's going to be hard to stop it from just respreading here. Uh, one thing you have heard is in incredibly large patches, which you think this might be, um, those of a particularly weak constitution, because uh, you fucking 20 this shit, uh, often end up with uh, splitting headaches, just from the sound that they make. Okay. Um, but even then, it's one of those, like, if you move quickly enough through them, okay. they're probably so, fine. Yeah, so I tell Keridan, you know, because uh, okay. we're, we're coming on... Are, are we like in the middle of the night or are we hours before dawn yeah. just a few hours before dawn so um maybe we go on before it. yeah maybe we can get a early going since everyone's well well rested pack up now and get ahead of this yeah get everyone you know let and all the other groups know and and you also know it'll take like a day or two before they get to the size in which they burst oh, a day oh okay or two. I think an hour or two well no no they, he, they grow quick okay. like um It'll like in a, you know, in an hour or two, they'll be the size of you know standard mushrooms. But okay. in like over the course, and then they'll okay. get, and then over like a course of a day, they'll get to that foot and a half size. And then after that, you know, it's another day where it starts to just swell and okay. bristle and flake until finally just, okay. and send off more spores. At what point do they start shrieking? Yeah, probably about dawn. <laughs> <laughs> That actually could be, you know, considering our location, shrieking may not be the best thing to have right. happen. No, I was thinking the same thing. So, but I didn't hear any of this. So the rain has stopped? Yes. Okay. Like and I said, we're well rested. It's a couple hours before dawn. Do... Which means I'm awake, because I would have taken my nap after I woke him up. Um, I'm just, like, trying to figure out if I should be a part of this conversation. <laughs> But, uh, I mean, if if you're awake, you would have saw them to go take out care yeah, of the horses. And if you care, you could have been like, yeah, I would have to go take care of the horses too. You know, <laughs> three elves, two horses. Why not? Yeah. No. I've like, seen the Sentai. It's also really <laughs> crowded in here. It's very weird. I don't like being around this many people all the time. Um, the, uh, do we, would we want to take the opportunity now before dawn? It's not raining. We're not going to get lost to yeah. go make one more sweep yeah. of the area. See if we can't find anybody yeah. before people pack up and leave. Yeah. Yeah. And I'd say if one of us is on the road, the other two are off about to visual edge and then we'll make I, a larger swath out. Yeah. 
What, you're going to leave the cart, Wrangler? Yeah. Uh -huh. well, if we find something, <laughs> okay. we'll come back and get you. You'll be, right. you'll, be kind of, you'll be fine, cart flipper. <laughs> oh, I got you. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, we'll head out like that so we can do a good search in case they get off the road or anything. And okay. I mean, yeah, it's, just, it's worth looking around before we try to pack everything up. Okay. Um, so, again, it's the uh, survival and the perceptions. And you rested, so you have your Tides of Chaos back if you I want to use do, it. I do, but I, I don't think I want to use it. My perception that was, was a 12. <laughs> okay. And so, my uh, survival was a 21. Actually. Okay. So I got 18 survival, and I didn't see shit. I rolled a okay. 1. Uh, perception was a 14. Yeah. Perception was a 14. Survival was an 11. Okay. Um, yeah, you guys quite aren't able to uh, find anything. Um, it, it's... Between the rain and the spores, anything that would have been considered tracks have long since been washed away or covered. Um, funny enough, though, throughout this like hour, hour and a half, you know, the spores have started to grow, and they've actually support kind of absorbed a lot of the uh, the moisture on the ground, the mud. So, nice. What would you what you would consider to be safe to not get stuck if they absorb the moisture at this rate? you will most likely be able to move two, three hours after dawn. Nice. Without getting any real kind of stuck. I mean, you'll still have to um, contest with the mushrooms. Right. But, and, I mean, as you've been walking, and granted, they've been small, but I mean, like, kicking them up, you know, stepping, crunching on them hasn't been too big of an issue. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Well, I guess we can head back and uh, see if we can rouse people up to get an early start since everyone's good to go. Yeah. And as far as we went, there were mushrooms as far as we could see? Um, yeah, because you guys didn't venture too terribly far. I mean, you ventured further than you had before, but I right. mean, before, you hadn't even really gone a mile. Right. 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 right, right, Okay. And now it's like you probably went a little over a mile, maybe a mile and a half. And um, it's, it's still very much this blanket that you guys are in. Um, of just these uh, shrinky, stinky mushrooms. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll be, I'll say that you are able to to rouse everyone, um, and with your knowledge, you you do inform them of what it is. Uh, the lawyer actually backs you up, saying, "Yeah, this this stuff happens in this area." Um, a few of the more skeptical or not skeptical but superstitious the members like oh this is a bad omen you know waking up to a you know to a land covered in dark to have our land to be in a land covered in a, a dark land covered in darkness for so long and now have the land literally be dark and screaming at us you know <laughs> what kind of nightmare hellscape is this I am just laughing I'm like that is it's a hilarious description it's great <laughs> um but yeah, we'll uh, let's put a stop in there there because it's uh, ten thirty here, so it's close to eleven thirty for uh, success. Plus, and we can pick up tomorrow. Or pick up with the next episode. <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons is property of Wizards of the Coast. Please visit dnd.wizards.com to purchase your copy of the game today. The opening and closing music, Epic, is property of Finn Sound. Check them out at binsound.com for more worlds and free music. This is for the production of Gaming Without Gaming, all rights reserved. You may download only material displayed and identified on the site as specifically available for downloading. Such material is for non-commercial, personal use only, provided you also retain all copyright and other proprietary notices contained on the materials. You may not, however, distribute, modify, transmit, reuse, repost, or use the content of the site for public or commercial purposes, including the text, images, audio, and video without our written permission.